All right. Hello, everyone. Welcome, welcome, welcome to our first, first anniversary of trivia. This game was meant to be just a week or two, but so far we have yet um, every Thursday night, including all the holidays. And this is game number, because we've done more than just the regular games. This is game number 57. So thank you guys for being with us. Tonight will be a little different because I'm gonna go back to the way it was whenever I first started the game and I will be running all the categories, which I think is gonna be very different. And I'm a little bit embarrassed because I'm not as creative as you guys are, but the questions are not gonna be as obscure. So I hope you guys will appreciate that. Um, Richard Saunders is gonna involve us all on a dice game for his show, The Skeptic Zone. The Skeptic Zone. So I hope you guys all bite along with this and use your psychic powers to predict the numbers. I always pick five. My, uh, my, I, I'm going to get five, five, five eventually. So it's all yours, Richard. Thanks, yeah. Susan. And hello, everybody. Great to see you here for the trivia sure. the one year anniversary, which is pretty important. This is the part of the show, folks, that those people who listen after the music will know. If you've never heard the show after the music, this is where occasionally we roll. This is, <clears throat> I'll say that again. This is where we occasionally roll a die. Six, 10, 20, 30, whatever. Today, it's a D20. And I'm just holding that up so everybody can see. I'm going to roll this three times. And I want you, you to use your special magic predicting psychic powers or luck to predict what number is going to come up from 1 to 20. I'm going to tilt the camera down so you can see my dice contraption, which is there. So here comes the first roll. Shout out something, everybody. Five, what number? Four. Three, 19. 18. 18. Four, 12. One. Put it in the chat, you guys. 11. One, Put it in the chat. Three, 10. Well, they're all putting it in the chat on the side there, so they can't change their mind. I'm going to roll it in five seconds. So five, four, three, two, one. It's a seven. Oh, nobody uh, got it. Aaron got it. Aaron got it. Faith All got right. it. Faith and Romero got a seven. Who else? That's what I thought. I thought it was 11, 7 11. <laughs> Next oh, yeah, number coming one. up. So make your predictions. I'm Next. going to roll in 14. Five Eight. seconds. Again. Lucky number 13. Five, Five. Four. Three. Six. Two. Hurry up, guys. One. Here it comes. <laughs> 11 oh, <that's> oh. <laughs> and, and did the last... get 11 let me see <laughs> last number coming up so make your predictions now and all you people listening on the podcast use your magical psychic powers or people keep you... guessing five they think i guess i know something that they don't it's five, here it comes right? five four three two one and the last number is 17. Um, oh, oh, so, close. so close. I know. So it, it looks like 17? 11. It, it looks, looks like, like 11. From a distance. Today's no, winning got, numbers. Oh, Gail got 17. I got 17. Some people got it. Today's winning numbers for you at home, 7, 11, and 17. Thank you. Did anybody get trivia. more than one of them, right? Karen, how many Oh, yeah. Said? Karen did. She got it twice. One. No, just one. Oh, just one. Just one. Oh, so all, all of these people, only one person got one right once. All uh, right. I just for you. Got we'll do, people we'll got do, one. We'll do a supplementary. You got one more chance. Okay. Here we okay. Go. Hurry, put your guesses in. Here it comes. Eight again. Five, 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 five. Four. Susan yeah. just hopes for a five. Here it comes in five, four, three, two, one. Unlucky for some. 13. Hey. 13? Well, look, yes. there's a five near it. I predicted the number on the previous I got 13. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, everybody, and thanks, thanks Susan, Richard. and congratulations. Good. Yay. I predict Susan will choose five. <laughs> I will choose five. It's, it's not like my favorite number. I just 
when I, I just think that eventually five, five, five will come up. If I'm consistent, I will eventually, it, right? Yeah, eventually. So, so for the new people here who might not know, the Skeptic Zone podcast from Australia, when Susan plays the out, outro music and everyone who doesn't know, just, okay, I'll go to another podcast. You got to stay on because then you hear the, the dice roll. Yeah. All right, so I'm going to put you guys in your uh, Susan's. Oh, look at this is the dice that Adrian gave him. Susan's number 14 minus nine, five. That's awesome. Two and a half times two, <laughs> and five. And what number Susan picked? This is a dice that Adrian had custom made, and I and they fooled me by by actually rolling the dice on the show and, and they were like, it is a five. And I'm like, what? It is a five again. I'm like, oh, something's wrong here. <laughs> so that now I want to watch and see him do it because, you know. So I know that Robin and Peggy will be here in a little bit. They're doing a uh, lawyering um, class and they should be here by, I don't know, 15 or 20 minutes. So and anybody else who will be joining us, I think that um, Adrienne is having a class, um, a book, I think her book night is today. So we'll expect some people to join later, some people to join soon. But uh, thank you guys so much for being with me tonight. This is fun. It's been a whole freaking year and I can't even believe it. Yay. So, I know, it's shocking. So I, So this is going back to retro. I hope you guys enjoy it. So I, like I said, as I was trying to do the categories and stuff like that, I said, I am never, I can't out clever you guys. You guys come up with some of the funnest, easy, weirdest things that are on some obscure stuff sometimes. And I thought I'll just do what I know how to do, which is mostly these are gonna be general categories. So I don't think there's anybody that's gonna have special knowledge so I'm expecting huge points today. The maximum points you can get is 50. And I'm expecting large, huge amounts. So let me put you guys in your breakout rooms. And as everybody knows, and it's going to be a little bit faster tonight because I will not be able to go into your teams to, how do I wreak say havoc. It? Yeah, wreak havoc. I guess I can go in and just say I'm here or whatever. Oh, and there's um, no jinx. There's no jinx of Susan. There's no and jinx, the and this should be easier today because I don't have to plan out who's going to be in there. But I do really uh, um, appreciate you guys writing categories because it does make it my life a lot easier, especially since now things are opening up and I'll be traveling a little bit. So I appreciate it. And next week I have space for one more person, and I think I have space for three people for the following week. So keep that in mind. I, it would be great if it's people who aren't doing it for the first time, but if you um, aren't ready for that, that's okay as well. And here comes Jim Newman. I, so, I wrote a category, Lighthouses 2. I'm just waiting for, no. Lou, to be, waiting for <laughs> Lou to be on my team before I, before I unveil it. You're going to ask us for the thickness of the Fresnel lens the instead best of the lighthouses diameter. according to rogerdeber.com. Of course. So I need to reorganize this a little bit. Let me just make sure. Because a couple of people leave early and I don't want to have, um, have a is, problem. Is Lou, is Lou here, by the way? Lou's not here. No, no. Lou's no. I'm waiting for him to be on my team before I use that category. Yeah, that's a good, good that's idea. That's very tricky, Kevin. Right. I got, I've got 10 category. categories written. And, and then you just categories? And questions. I wait for the person who's on my team. Like if it comes up with Twilight Zone and Rob's on my team, I'll use that. <laughs> Oh, well, so right. now, so people assume, and maybe this is true of other people, but it is not generally true of me, that I would know all of the answers to all the questions that I put the category on if I hadn't looked it up early. And that's not necessarily true. It's like I'm interested in the Twilight Zone. I really like the Twilight Zone, for example. So I made the category, but I had to look up every one of those. So, you know, some of them I knew, but not, not all of them for sure. Same thing went for my other categories. I don't know. Like, I don't know. Avi, did you know the answers to every single one that you did when you did the math one in advance? Uh, that one, no, I think that there was a few things that I had. Well, yeah, I think I had to look up a few things for that. Most of them, I think I would, I knew, but it's like, you have to be, can't be 100% sure. Yeah, and yeah, yeah. It's, it's like, even my memories, if I, it, yeah. 
Now, I'll bet, I'll bet Mano knew the Bible ones because he studied that and that those were like probably easy for you. Yeah, right. You would have known those. Yeah. And then there was the 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 color commentary I gave after I give afterwards or some of these things that turned out that I had wrong. So mm -hmm. um, which you know. Okay, so here we go. I'm gonna send you off to your rooms. Um, what I will let you know is that for the next week, which will be June 17th, I have Peggy, Rob. Robin and Karen giving categories. I don't have a bonus yet. The following week, I have Gail and Carl, and that's what I've got so far. So I'll let you do Susan, I'll do that. bonus next week. Okay, bonuses. I'll do one the following week, not a bonus though. I almost wrote bonus for, for Isabella. I like doing bonus. I mean, I almost wrote the word bonus. Wow, smart, Susan. I, I'm on it. Let me tell you, and we're, we're video. Bring your dog around. Okay, Did you like my video? Did I what? Did you like enjoy it? Watching the videos of us playing vi trivia? Yeah. Oh yeah, <laughs> absolutely. And and these questions, you know, you guys, you can put this on while you're cleaning the house or working the garden and listen, just, you know, just listen. And, and as they're asking the questions, you could shout out the answers, what everyone do. I think it's fun. <laughs> I think it's fun. See um, if I remember the answers the second time around. Yeah, well, probably did, somebody won't. Just, <laughs> did somebody just say something about a category of bonus and I missed it? I did. Who did? Oh, yeah, I got yours, Isabella. Okay, okay. Never the mind. The following week, I can do a regular category. I have you on for a regular okay. category. Yeah, I have you for uh, week uh, June. Ooh, maybe twenty four. That's what I've got you on for. Twenty one. Oops. Yeah, that's fine. Okay, twenty one. All right, so let's go to your rooms and play nice. You guys got to create names and uh, play and have fun. <laughs> wear, uh, well, wear a mask. This is going to be almost your last time wearing masks and, and uh, washing your hands. Okay, so those of you out there who are still here hanging out, um, I will probably be putting in a pause so that you don't have to sit there and listen to me all the time. But what I can let you know is what they're doing is they go into their little rooms. I've never done this before. It's been a whole year, so I've never done it before, but they're creating names. And when they come back, you know, they're meeting each other. And I remember Kevin telling me once that one of the best part of the whole game is whenever you go to create your team, and you get to see who you're playing with. It's always fun to see who you're playing with. Um, they just all come into the room and uh, they've all become friends over this time, I think. And it, it's really exciting to have people from all over the United States and the world in Canada, you know, Canada, well, they're in the world, United States, a few in Canada, and then we have at least one from Australia. We've had more in the past. And, uh, you know, get to be friends and get to know each other. It's, it's so much fun because I mix them up. I randomize them pretty much each time. So you never know who you're going to be playing with. They're going to choose a name. And when they come back, the name will probably be, oh, Lord, some goofy something that is either something in the news or it's going to be something I can't pronounce. They love doing that to me. Uh, I have a feeling there's going to be at least something about Thomas John. Um, it's cute. The categories, the team names that come back with are really kind of fun. So uh, I really look forward to this. I don't think I'd be able to do it at all. Or I wouldn't be clever if I was the one choosing the name, not like what they come back with. So I'm going to put this on pause and that way we'll see what we come up with whenever they come back with the team names. Wait, no, I am used to seeing that because it happened at the beginning. There's this, yeah, every time. Oh, I never thought we would be first back. No. Jim, uh, did you hear from Brian Dunning? He wanted me to, he got your contact information for me. Yes. Okay. You're smelling the lacquer. There's Caspian. There's Caspian. Jamie. Hi, you guys. Hi. Um, Caspian, you got a haircut. It looks nice. You need it? Or do you... No. Thank you. Hey, Susan. Yeah. Last time I was in Salinas, 
because you know I used to come down on barge and then I'd get the bus to um Are we all there? To, to to San Jose was it where the and you'd pick me up at the train station mm -hmm. um and you were saying there's an, a, a train line going to be built and end up in Salinas has that yeah. happened yet no yeah. mm -hmm. not yet not yet the station's built it, it's probably five or six years down the line yeah. okay. Jamie, so I'll still, I'll still, I'll still have to come down. I still have to come down on on Bart and then a bus, and then okay, I can do that. Right, and that's not a problem. I don't have a problem picking you up. It's not going to happen for a while. <laughs> Things are happening faster than you realize. It's it's. I hope, yeah, it would be nice if they were. I'd really. <sighs> Popcorn, anybody? Mm -hmm. Yeah, send it over. It's kettle corn mixed with regular popcorn. Oh, that sounds good. So, Richard, I heard they exhumed the Summerton man. Any uh, local insights? Yes, they did. And I haven't heard Who? what's the latest uh, update from that. Who this is was that? the guy found uh, dead on the beach or something like yeah. that. Oh, yeah, that was, one? But it was, yeah. it was decades and decades ago. So now hopefully they get oh, some too, wasn't it? I, look, I don't have the, I don't have the, the, the details at my fingertips, but I noticed that story, so I'll be in, interested to, to discover if they, you know, if the DNA can help them. Unsolved Rich. since 1948. Right. This a I think trivia. I think this it's a trivia question in one of our games. Gosh. Isn't it yep. stunning that after you know all these years and thousands and th hundreds of millions of people live and die and everything, they still want to know the identity of this one guy. Washed up on the beach. And I still want to know where those kids went. Uh, yes, everybody would like to know where those kids went. She's referring to the Beaumont children. I've written about this extensively because I did a lot, of, lots, uh, a big article about the so-called psychic who was brought out at the time in 1966 to find these missing children. Wasn't he from the and, Netherlands? And the, and the, yeah, the hoo-ha and the the hysteria and the and the bullshit and the wasted opportunities and times spent chasing around a, a, a psychic who was looking for these children didn't he um have story. a warehouse floor dug up or something yeah, well he said that he thought the children were under a certain warehouse under this concrete and then he left the country he was only here for four days or something and and such was the belief in him from the local population that they raised you know people raised money to have this Here. warehouse exhumed yeah. and the floor mm -hmm. dug up and then again 30 years later or something crazy like that mm -hmm. if anybody's interested uh, i wrote a very long report about it which is free to download in the pages of the skeptic magazine um, from australian skeptics but richard yeah, if you yeah. put that in the show notes i'd like to see the link to that show notes you mean the oh, chat? Yeah, yeah. You mean the chat? Well, give me oh. a second. I'll, I'll just. I'll, I'll have to. Uh, it was about three years ago. Give me a second. I'll. I'll just see. If okay. I can well, find that. when you think about it, just, I'd like to see it. it I it's had called a, the yeah the Beaumont children and the and the guy was there's a Wikipedia was page. Gerard, Gerard. I keep saying croissant, and I know that's wrong. Gerard, <laughs> um, Kush, Kushet? No, um, oh, gee, I can't. Anyway, let me find it. Let me find it. That would be really interesting. It is in the. It is in the, uh, they both have Wikipedia pages, both of these mysteries, and they're both hmm. Australian. I seem to remember the guy was, maybe there was a Skeptoid episode, the guy they found? Uh, no, I don't think so. I don't think so. What's, what's, we what's have talked name? about it here on uh, Trivia. I, I also, if I m remember correctly, I, I also read out my report on the show. So let me see if I can find both. Maybe that's what I'm remembering. Yeah, maybe that's where it was. Karen, don't let me forget. I've got to ask you something from one of my neighbors. Okay. Don't let me um, I told her I was, she said, I, can you give me Karen's contact information? I said, well, I'm going to see her in a couple <laughs> hours. So I'll just ask her. So don't let me forget. <laughs> Are we all back? Nope, not quite. Susan, don't forget. Kitty Cam. Kitty Thanks Cam. for reminding me. This is Hobbs. He says hi. Hi, Hobbs. Hi. Oh, Hobbs. She's you have another cat named name. Calvin. Huh? Mm -hmm. What? I have a cat named Calvin to go with Hobbs. Oh. <laughs> well, my son named the cat. Maybe he thinks he's Calvin. 
<laughs> All right, as I was saying to people off the video where you guys couldn't hear, that this is the part of the time that, that a lot of people enjoy a lot because you get to find out who's gonna be on your team for the next couple hours. And it's always fun because I mix you guys up. I really do pretty much randomly mix you up. Oh, um, I'm happy with the way you mixed us up today. I'm very happy with my team, believe me. Oh, well, fine. Oh, well, we expect oh. a first place, Richard. That's, well, of course, but, you know, we, we might be polite and, and not get a few. Just I think somebody's going to oh, do, oh, oh, oh. Somebody's gonna do a, 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 a PhD someday on this trivia team because it's the oh. game, because it's so eccentric. But... Um, I like this part where we get the names and I already told the audience that was is watching this right now what I thought some of the kind of themes you guys were going to come up with. So let's see if we're close uh, what you did. I did my own little dice prediction game kind of thing, except it wasn't rolling. I just. Oh, you, you will never guess our name. <clears throat> well, I didn't say this is going to be the name. I said it's probably going to be about this such and such thing. All right. So group number one. Room number one, who shall forever be named something else. At the moment, it is Avi, Jerry, Carmen, Jim Newman, Kelly, and Richard Saunders. Who are you guys tonight? And please put it in the chat so I can spell it correctly. Who's putting it in the chat? You should. <laughs> you're, you're, the, you're the guy. <laughs> yeah. Well, it must be long. Oh. <laughs> Sorry. No, it, just, it? it just takes a Sorry. while to get the chat open. Oh. Is somebody <laughs> putting it in? I'm sorry. I'm, I am, I, I, I am, I am. Oh, thank you. I got completely distracted with this, <laughs> this <laughs> Beaumont thing. I found it, by the way. I'll, 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 okay, I'll yeah, please link. do. I know, I know that uh, Isabella will be reading both of them oh, because if she hasn't already got it memorized. It's Into the Height of the Woods, right? Into the Height of the Woods. <laughs> That's good. Is that the team name? Yeah, Into the Height oh, of the Woods. Oh, I didn't predict that one. Uh -huh. Into the Height, height. of the Woods. Height as in height? Height. Okay. Do you see that? Into the it's Heights? Kelly's right showing behind you. me. Into the Height. Of the, okay, got it. Because <laughs> I was using the, combining the names of Into the Height, of In the Heights and Into the Woods, and I thought yes. that there was... The I don't know. I'm not. I'm. I'm. I saw the play. It was okay. Okay. There. By the way, in the chat is the P, the link to the PDF where you can read my report about this case of Isabella, the. Isabella, you're going to want to read this. You love yeah. these kinds of things. What? Okay. And, so make sure uh, the, you to read that later. It's. It's page, forty eight, and the and the subject uh, the, the the article is called the blind seer. The blind seer. Okay, so group two, it's Ben, Aaron, Jeffrey. Is Julie there? No, I'll see even Jeffrey. In this He's room. gonna be here later. Okay, Jeffrey, Leonard, Mono, Jamie, and Caspian. So who are you guys tonight? We are the anomalous enemy and enemies from Washington. Good grief. <laughs> so yes, this is the word Washington is always gonna be used because- I was tempted, but I thought, no, it's been done. Anonymous. Oh, hey, I live here. So, <laughs> not, uh, say anonymous. Again? Anomalous. Anomalous. Enemy, anomalous. Enemy anemones from Washington. Yeah. Friends uh, like uh, these, who needs anemones? Anomalous. Anonymous. 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 I'm not anomalous. <laughs> you add anonymous, anomalous. In front of that. Anomalous. anomalous anomalous enemy anemones from Washington. Anomalous enemy anemone <laughs> from Washington. Got it. <laughs> I got it. I got it. I got it. Anomalous. <laughs> anomalous. 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 If you say it enough, I will get the damn word. Okay. <laughs> Room three. Deborah, Faith, Romero, Gail, Karen, and Paula. Serato. We are the zombie grackles that will change the orbit of the moon. <laughs> <laughs> zombie grackles that will change the orbit of the moon. I didn't predict that for some reason. Uh, <laughs> Not even one part of it? No. Yeah, I mean, we had Gail in our room. <laughs> Not even one. And they didn't have anything to do with headless birds this week. Yes, zombie grackles. 
Mm-hmm. Oh, 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 yes. Okay, I get it. I get it. Okay. <laughs> Orbit of the moon. They will change over. Maybe they'll just flutter. Mm-hmm. All right. Alan, Isabella, Janine, Mike Wolf, and Wilma. Who are you guys tonight? The Forest Service Moon Moving Unit. Right. Moon unit. <laughs> we, can work we can work together. Yeah. <laughs> yes. Is this Frank Zappa? I can Frank write Frank it. Zappa had a child named Moon Unit, right? Moon Unit Zappa. Yeah. Yeah. I'll write it in. Oh, I've got it. It's already in there, Janine. Did you get the moon moving? I, I keep oh, taking I that the out. Moon I think the, the moon moving. Funnier unit. without it. Okay. Yeah. Moving moving the middle name. Yeah. Okay. Okay, got it. Moon moving unit. Okay, Moon gotcha. moving. Yeah. Is it like Moon River? Moon. <laughs> Except we can't sing. River. Well, maybe we can. Alan. We have Alan. I don't know if Alan's a Oh, he says he doesn't a, sing. Oh, he's well. a musician. All right. So last up, Kevin, Bob, Jim Preston, Carl, Kyle, and Rob. Who are you tonight? Team Lanthanum. Team Lanthanum. Somebody will nope. tell me what that means. Figure it out. I think it speaks for itself. You did not predict that one? That's so obvious. Who's Team <laughs> Lanthanum? Who's Lanthanum? Who? Figure it out. You already read the names. Look it up. Figure it out, Susie Q. <laughs> <laughs> it's like the time where all the you questions can, you can about Google your room. They're not playing. Come on, Susie Q. Lanthanum. Over my head. Why does everybody know about me? Oh, Today's all about you, Susie Q. <laughs> I, I don't know either, Susan. Okay, all right. Thank all you, right. Karen. Here's the, an- here's oh, the answer. Yeah, here's the people. answer from a Google search. I make I make the same suggestion every week. And it gets rejected. Oh, that's the answer. It's a chemical element with the symbol LA and atomic number 57. 57. Seventh trivia. 57. Oh! (laughs) I love when the light bulb goes off. All right. Good job. All right. That's cute. Okay. Kyle Kyle grabbed that one from the. Okay. So here's the. He didn't want to be in against 57. That was too. Yeah. That was way too obscure. Okay. No, this way we're soft and ductile and we're silvery white. So, okay, that you know what it was reminding me of is whenever the QAnon people were all excited because um, they had just announced that the capillary police were were doing practice. The what police? Capillary police. Capillary police. Capillary police. It's the capital police. The capital. Capital. The capital area. You said the cap- capital. Well, you know what? There's a capital area capital, skeptics. Yeah. That's what I'm thinking. Of. Okay, capital <laughs> police in Washington D.C. <laughs> we're doing tr- well, gotta, uh, training exercises 17 miles away from the capital, and they got all freaking excited. Now you guys know why, right? Yeah, because no, that's I a, have no idea. Who is the 17th letter of the alphabet? Kids, there you go. 17th letter the alphabet. So that makes it real. 17 miles away. That's kind of how it feels with this. Okay. <laughs> so here I'm gonna read them all out. So we have five teams tonight that are gonna go head to head to head and even head bird to, head, head, to, head. To, <laughs> to see if they could be the winner on the anniversary, the one year anniversary of social trivia by Susan. And the teams are. Into the Height of the Woods versus <sighs> I forgot now. Anomalous. Anomalous enemy and enemies from Washington <laughs> versus zombie grackens that will change the orbit of the moon versus Forest Service ah. Moon Moving Unit versus Team Lathan. Lathy, lathium. Laffy taffy. Yeah. All right. So hopefully you guys will like our trivia tonight because I it will be unusual. Well, it won't be unusual. It's going to be a little bit. All right. So here we go. And dare I say it, they're all easy. <laughs> I put that in. Yeah. 
So maybe a perfect score by a team tonight? It could easily be 50 perfect scores all night tonight. I think you guys are going to be able to do this, no problem. Oh. All right, so uh, could one of my gracious hosts that is able to um, mute, not mute yet, but be ready to mute. Um, our first category is going to be called how many? How many? It's got a question mark. How many? Muting everybody in three, two, one. Susan, you have to unmute. Oh, God, I said the funniest thing too. Um, I can't repeat it. So I will be putting these in the chat and reading them out loud to you. So how many is the theme of this? So let's see. Question number one. How many cups will a gallon of coffee fill to the brim? Question number two. How many states were in the US the day before the beginning of the Civil War, the American Civil War? Not the British Civil War, but the American Civil War. And I apologize to the Canadians and the Australian, the group, that several of these are non, they are non-metric. And question number three, one tablespoon contains how many teaspoons? Question number four, how many pounds does a Oscar weigh? Now, I'm putting a note that it has a half. So it's number 0.5 is really. But what I'm looking for is the first number. So something 0.5, I'm looking for the something. Question number five. How many zeros are in a quadrillion? Quad, quadrillion? Here comes Robin. So that means... Uh, Peggy will be right behind. Should that be a Q? So quadrillion or? Oh, yeah, it's a quadrillion. You're right, it's a Q. You've never heard of a quadrillion? <laughs> How also, many zeros are in a quadrillion? No, there are two possible correct answers for that, but. I don't want to hear it. I only have one written down. So your goal is to find the one on my sheet. All right. How many, question number six. How many amend, amendments are in the US Constitution? The category, Robin, is how many? I'm just reading that right now. Question number seven. How many M, M, M as in Mary, tiles are in the game Scrabble? So if you were to buy a brand new game of Scrabble and you opened it up, how many tiles would have the letter M on it? Not Susan, no one, no one actually does that, Susan. Yes, they do. No, they don't. Yes, they do. <laughs> okay. So this question, question number eight. How many chromosomes do humans have? And I'm talking about the average human, not Gomer guy. Uh, number nine, I have to explain for Richard Saunders that uh, when I say day, I'm talking about today, which is June 10th, 2021. I want to know how many days until Easter 2022. And the last question, the very last question, our first anniversary edition on category one is how many hearts does an octopus have? So we, we're getting tens, right? I think this should be easy enough that you guys, Susan, you think you'll in group. question number one, nobody's getting a ten. Saying cups. What? Are you saying cups is in the, the unit of measurement cups? Yes, the unit of measurement cup. Okay. Otherwise, it'd be like, you know, however strong you want to make it. So, Susan. Yes. Specifically coffee, not tea or milk or coffee. Just a, gallon, coffee. A, a gallon of tea will fill the same number of cups as a 
Yeah, don't well, tell well. anybody. Don't give any hints. No, I'm not really just. I'm just pointing out. I'm actually <laughs> pointing out for future reference. I guess. Okay, and for the video for people watching. So I'm going to send you guys to your rooms. No other questions. Okay. I will pop in on you guys once in a while. So that's I assume, kind of I assume by an Oscar, you don't mean like a puppet or something. You mean by the Academy Award. The Academy Award puppet. Trophy. <laughs> and I need to find a place where Robin's going to go. Robin, Robin. Robin, Robin. Is Peggy here yet? No, uh, she should be right behind you, though. She should be right behind me because we're both in the same place. She probably took the dog out. Probably. Took Dallas out real quick. And Is this, we're, we're on the first round here? Yeah. Mm -hmm. And so somebody will be able to give you the, the categories. I'm going to put you in Forest Service Moon Moving Unit. All right. Because I can. <laughs> Have fun. Okay. Dear watchers, this is the part where I get to go from room to room and listen to them discuss. And I always found this so much fun and I haven't been able to do it for months because they've been doing the category and I would play their part. So I didn't get to, I'd go and sit in a room, but this time I get to go from room to room to room to room and listen to them discuss. And you guys will be able to do that with me. So that'll be fun. So let's try, let's join into the height of the woods. Alan. Uh, hmm. That would be okay. just to, to think, that's um, dry measurements, and I know yeah. a, a gallon's 128 ounces, and Ooh, a typical coffee cup is eight ounces. So, but she mean she meant the measurement of like a, a like a, a cup, cup which is which is eight ounces. So how many yeah. ounces is a measurement cup then? Is it eight also? Yeah. It's eight. Yeah. It would have to be. Yeah. yeah. So it'd be 128 divided by eight, whatever that is. I'm not that fast. Is that 16, Kelly? I think that's 16. Okay, there you go. All right. I don't know number two. I don't know number two either. I don't know number two. Is more than 13. It's, I oh, feel like it's definitely more than 13 because they had a bunch that came in Yeah. with the Mason Dixon line and all that 20? stuff. 20? 20, 21? It's more than that. I'm not sure. Yeah. It's yeah, like 20, guess. it's 26 or 27, I think. Really? I believe that. Sure. <laughs> yeah. 26 or 27. Hello, Paula. Let's put you over in. And Peggy, here's Peggy. Hello. So let's put Paula over here. And hello, Peggy. I'm going to put you. Hi, Susan. Happy anniversary. Thank you. My hi. friend Tracy's here. Tracy, come and say hi to Susan. My friend Tracy's visiting. Hi, Tracy. She's You'll be a big help. I think so. Uh, I keep telling her. No, this I is gonna be. This is going to be the time <laughs> to help because the, I'm doing all the questions and they're all general knowledge. Oh, okay. Well, I'll get, I'll get the wine. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm going to put you... I got to pick a team to put you on here real quick. Oh, I guess I should put you over here. So you're going to go where Robin just was, I think. Forest Service Moon Moving Unit. Forest don't ask. Don't ask. They'll, they'll, they'll tell you. Yeah, I'll bet they will. <laughs> How many pounds does an Oscar weigh? Oh, I do. Yeah. They're pretty heavy from what I gather. More than two, I think. Hmm. Yeah. I'm going to say five. 
She said it was a half, I think. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. But she's looking she at the main number. I, I she wants the number thing. before the 0. 0.5. Mm -hmm. yeah, I'm going to five. Five sounds fine to me. It's a sure. number. And then how, how many, many M tiles are in the game of Scrabble? Uh, I don't play Scrabble. I, I no feel idea. like there's around five. Yeah, that four. sounds about right to me too. I thought it was four, but it could be four. It as could a, be four. As a pedantic pain in the ass, I would say it's N. Or N is an unknown integer. <laughs> <laughs> oh, this is math and a word. Pop. That sounds like a team name for next lost. year. There are N M's in the Scrabble. <laughs> yes. There you it go. Depends on how many of them got dropped in our. <laughs> Okay, so we're on to number four. I think, I think number, number four. four is four. So I wrote okay. down seven. I wrote down seven, and when right. you said make it a point, I changed it to five. Yes, well, seven point five. She wants it's a point five after that. And but I, think, yeah, I like your. You think I it's like four? the bigger of your number. Well, it might be seven because you see them holding it up like this. And I've seen them react yeah. like it was heavier than they expected. Yeah, that's why I think they're holding they the box. They're, well, like, okay. they're made of gold. Seven's a nice number. I think no, they're not made out of solid gold because that would be nuts. Yeah, it's not. <laughs> but they're pretty, I, th I think they're like seven and a half pounds. Yeah. Oh, Romero is floating in and out of my room. That's weird. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <clears throat> we thought so. <laughs> Susan, if someone new comes in, would you send them to this group so that I, if I have to leave? Sure. Early? Good. Oh, okay. Susan changed her card. I don't even know how to figure out number five. I've got a bunch of zeros written. Five is, five five is easy. It. It's three, three six, six, nine, nine 12. 12. 12, right? 12. 15, no? So it's for uh, for uh, an English quadrillion, the, the, the rest of the world, it's 16. But for you guys, it's 12. 15. Oh, was that right? I, I have yeah. 15. No, it's 12. It's, it's got, yeah, 12. Visualizing my brain. All other subjects don't work with my visualization. Um, I don't even know if it's 33 anymore. That was like a, it was a confident guess, but now I'm not sure. I feel like it could be more now. So Peggy, any ideas? <laughs> I don't even know what the question is. Oh, it's how many states were in the U.S. the day before the beginning of the Civil War? <coughs> I guess 33, but now I'm not 100%. Well, I tell you what, let's go 50 and count backwards. That might be better. Okay. Minus Alaska and Hawaii. I like this uh, approach. California, <laughs> Washington. Utah. No, uh, no was, it California was California became a state in like 1850. Or it's so. California, Oregon, Washington was considered the Washington yeah. Territory. Yeah, so um, Utah was not a state. No, it was the Washington, Utah, Nebraska, Kansas, and then Indian Territory. And then there was some organized territory near Minnesota. Okay, so Wyoming wasn't a state. Montana wasn't a state. No um, Oklahoma Idaho was. wasn't a state. Idaho was not a state. Oklahoma was not a state. Kansas wasn't a state. Kansas was not a state. Was Minnesota? Yes. Minnesota was a state. So we're New Mexico and Arizona weren't states. Yeah, that's right. So we're down to 40. Was and then Texas, was what's the Texas one below state? Kansas? Um, Nebraska. Nebraska. The one right above oh, Texas. Iowa was not a state. No, Iowa was a state. It was? Okay. Yes. But was Texas, a, did you go through that? Was Texas a state? Yes. yes. Texas was a state, I think. Yes, they were. Uh, what's a, what's above Oklahoma? Uh, how about Arkansas? Was Arkansas a state? Tracy, I don't think Texas was a state. Yeah, Arkansas think... wasn't a state. Okay. So Arkansas was not a state. Um... Yeah, are you sure Texas, uh, Texas was a state and then not didn't count? Yes, it was later. a state because they succeeded from the Union in um, February 1st, 1861. What time? I think. <laughs> I think. Um, was that a Tuesday? <laughs> I don't know if it was a Tuesday or not. I know it was February 1st, 1861, though. 
Um, uh, so then did we, we say have... Montana? I don't think we said Montana yet. Yes, she yeah, did. It's on there. Yes, she did. Yeah. This is really clever. I'm I'm affixed to trying to. I have I I've <laughs> subtracted fourteen or fifteen, which puts us down to thirty six or thirty five. So uh, a little more than the original. So uh, did we do North Dakota and South Dakota on our little list? Oh, I didn't. We're going to need lots more times. Is, do we know, uh, uh, Robin, do we know when and why the Dakotas split? You know, not I don't. Maybe, maybe eight. Maybe eight. Uh-oh. What? Uh-oh. So we're being surveilled. Progress. Somebody's here. Yeah, that means she's here. I'm adding and up the number of the dates. And it's, okay, yeah, keep doing that. All right, so how many states plus were in the U.S. the day before the beginning of the Civil War? 30. Oh. 31. Um, so didn't have the Midwest or the July, Far West August, yet. October. I'm thinking 30-something. 30, 30 range, 30-something, 30 35. We have no leeway on this, right? We got to be spot on. Yes, yeah, Susan. Not not one of these questions has a range. That's amazing. And you think everyone's going to get a good score, huh? I hmm. think you're, I think we're going to see eight sevens and eights. Yeah. Hmm. Not from this. Yeah, I get a total of two hundred ninety four days plus whatever the part of April is. So I have to add maybe fourteen to that, the max. Oh no! Second Sunday could be even it could be six days more than that. Be had to add be had between fourteen and, and twenty. Let's go with three hundred and eleven. Sounds good. Whatever. Seventeen. Mm. I have no idea when. If I knew when April, the second Sunday. Of April would be. It's a crapshoot, in my opinion. Yeah, without looking at a calendar, I can't do it. Even yeah. Should All give right, us a range of plus or minus five. How many men? How many amendments? What are we going to say? I'm thinking twenty six. I don't that know. Was, that was my first. I think twenty seven, so. but Utah, Colorado. Is it? Oh, New, New Mexico. New Mexico is not on my list. New Mexico on the western side. New Mexico. Um, and did I say Oklahoma? Yeah, I got Oklahoma. What's above Oklahoma? It would be the Kansas Territory. Kansas. Kansas. Although it's based on a, well, it's based no. on a lunar calendar for the, the actual date that Easter will appear. But we're counting solar days. Right. We're figuring out when. So in order to figure out when is the next what, whether how much is going to change from the middle, whatever it was in April. But then I don't really know how long the. Guys, my numbers are all wrong because I skipped October. So I just need to add. <laughs> 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 I need to October. add 31 days. I think I'd get rid of it next this year anyway. We're just. Don't you dare get rid of Halloween on me. Um, yeah. Well, Halloween, Halloween, that that why October. doesn't you pick a holiday like Halloween or July the 4th or Christmas? I decided to try to go backwards to double check my math. And that was when I figured out that uh, uh, uh. I screwed up. So just add an extra 31 days. So it's 294 will take us to March 31st. And then add 31 to all the other ones. What are those numbers going to be? Uh, funny you should ask. I was just trying it's to figure It's funny out. on those cop sh crime shows, it's always the sassy young woman in, in the crime lad who sits there and, and with a big <laughs> can of, of, of pop and just comes out with amazing answers all the time. <laughs> well, that yeah, door. except they don't usually forget an entire month. <laughs> <laughs> but when they do, it solves the crime somehow, you know? Uh-huh. Yeah. So it's 290, 297, <laughs> two, no, 304. I hate now that I'm being recorded doing arithmetic. Oh, I'll, I'll stay here a little longer. Three thirty-five. Oh, Susan. 
Just see, so think, oh, why did I add 31 to 304? Mm -hmm. Wow. Um, I, I think it's on a Sunday after a full moon. Does anyone know when the full moon is? <laughs> of course. It's getting worse. <laughs> I've, got them, I've got them memorized. <laughs> it's getting worse. Okay. <laughs> is it a leap year too? No, no it is not. No a way. <laughs> we should, about the full moon, we should ask the Dallas Police Department, right? Richard? Right. We should, yes. Yes, I'll tell you. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so I feel like somebody should still double check my arithmetic because who knows what else I forgot. Let's go through the months, July, August, September, October, November, December, January, February, March. I got all of them this time. Okay. Yeah. So what, what are the Sundays in April? Because I think it's in April. So in April, there is a prophecy, and we know we're doomed. Right. It's, it's just it's just in honor of Loki being released on Disney. There Park. you go. The lo it's the Loki horns, right? That must be it. I was yep, going to reference go. the Maple Leafs getting bounced from the playoffs, but that happens too it, often. There's all sorts of omens in this. Susan, do we get a range for the? Um, She's like, are like, nope. I don't even care what question you're asking. No. <laughs> These conversations are great. I've missed this so much going into rooms to listen to you guys talk. It's so interesting. What? Uh, which one were we looking for a range for? The number of days. Easter days. For, yeah, days from today until Easter 2022. You got to watch the video. I just left the room where Kelly's trying to do math, and she forgot the whole month of October. Oh boy, <laughs> that's the best month. October is obvious. It's the it's the month whose name means eight. That's the tenth month. <laughs> mm -hmm. Uh huh. So it's first full moon after the solstice. It's the first Sunday after, after. the first full moon after, after the, the vernal this. equinox. Oh, after the equinox. Sorry. Okay. <sighs> Darn Easter. Wait, did she ever specify whether this was the Catholic Easter or the Orthodox? <laughs> I'm going to assume that it's the Catholic Easter. Good. Ooh. Yeah, you do both. Maybe they're both <laughs> on the same day this time. No, they're not. It's the Oriental Catholicism, Caspian. They use the Orthodox calendar, I believe. Well, then, then you got the answer. What is it? The unladen uh, calendar. <laughs> oh. oh. What? <laughs> oh, what's in the answer to your question? How did I do that? Other than that one, they were all uh, fairly easy. And we were wondering um, if you remembered to multiply by two for the answer to number eight. Me? Yes. Because yeah. there are 23 pairs of chromosomes. So that's 46. I guess you'll have to find out, right? You will soon know. Well, the number is 23 pairs or 46, but whether or not you were basing it on 23 and me or remembering that those were pairs. Oh, I know my, I know my chromosomes. You chromosomal Yeah. 23 me was obvious. Yes, but that doesn't mean it's correct just because they name it that. But no. it is. But it is correct. That's one of the few things about 23 and me that is correct. <laughs> Wait, you mean all the all the ancestry is it? No, not not all of it. You mean I'm not 3.4 percent Belgian? Um, anything given to more than one significant digit is fraud. Okay. So I have a number. I have no idea if it's correct, but it at least falls on a Sunday. And based off of trying to do it by hand, like it's it's not 
it's not well outside the range of what we were initially guessing, which is I have 314. But auspicious. If it's if it's 28.5 days, it could be a week off. It could be 307. So uh, what dates do those correspond to? Um, this one corresponds to, um, let me just double check. It corresponds to March 30th. That's plausible. I think, right? Yeah. Yeah. It's plausible. Easter is, Easter is sometimes in March. That's kind of what yeah, I thought. I just don't have a Very good rarely, answer. but does happen. Yeah. I, I think that leaves us with a plus six remainder, which throws us not on a Sunday. Let me, let me, my, I if have you spend 307 days is 43 weeks. Plus two days, which today is Thursday. Well, it's 40, 43 weeks and then a six remainder. So the six Wait. remainder is the six days I'll added to today. If you could double check that, maybe I'm doing that wrong. I'm just doing a click on paper. Well, remember today's Thursday. No, you're right. How did I get that? Oh, oh, God. So I know how I got Never mind. 304, maybe? Uh oh. Scoring. The score is based on the height? Well, if. If the word is flat, if it's just one tile high all the way down the word, each tile is two points. But once you once a stack is 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 in the word, it's just one point per tile for every oh. tile in the word. So, but if you get a, you know, you can go five high, so you can keep, you know, if if a if you have a word a word that's six and you put a tile on now you've only got um now it's only four because you've now you've got four tiles at one point and then you add another one to somewhere that's five six seven so you, uh, for a three-letter word if you've got a five a five tile stack in it that's seven points yeah so every height adds a point yeah i get it well, has anybody right. ever played the uh, app 2048? Y yes. yes, I played that one. Yes, I played that a lot. <laughs> yes, of I, I wasted many hours playing oh, that when I first hours. found out about it. My niece says she does that and her and her boyfriend did it too. I don't understand. I yeah. can never even get close. It, it, I have it, one called 2048 Charm. That's what it's called. It's worth downloading. It has yeah. several games in it. Oh, so All right, we're back. Hmm. And you're all back. I love going and listening to you guys have a discussion. It was so much fun. I really did miss that, you guys. It's so much fun to, to go and pop in and watch you guys do math. Yeah, it, it's <laughs> not creepy paper. at all. Susan, I have a question. Yes. If, if nobody gets the exact date of Easter, can you give a point to who's closest or something? Or can you give us a no, plus or minus I you, three? I think somebody will get it. Plus really? or minus three, plus or minus five or something like that? There's no yeah. range? No. Plus, no. We're, we're going to be close, but I don't think we're going to be. Okay, so question number one, how many cups will a gallon of coffee fill to the brim? The answer is 16. Yeah. I, I wish you hadn't used coffee because a coffee cup is six ounces, so there was this. Yeah, just doubt. confusing. So just number two, how many states were in the U.S. the day before the beginning of the Civil War? It was 34. Oh, oh. missed it by one. Missed it by one. Can you name them? Yeah, Chase Thursday. Say hello to Sterling, everybody. Hey, Sterling. Hi, Sterling. Hey, Sterling. Hi, Sterling. Hi, Sterling. Hi, Sterling. <laughs> you should stay and play. Go, go home and join. Yeah. Can you? Well, that'll be fine. Uh, back later, okay, bye, sweetie. Can you name the states? No. 
<laughs> Brand, Brand, let's just make up. Yes, we want to stay on time. Of course, I would be there. Uh, Hi, how many tablespoons? How many? One tablespoon contains three teaspoons. So the answer is three. How many pounds does a Oscar weigh? Very interesting. You guys uh, were absolutely right. Those people are talking about how heavy it is and you hear them talking about it all the time whenever they lift it, it's heavier than they thought it was gonna be. It's 8.5. Oh, oh wow. I knew it was in the back of my head. Number. We switched it. We, we talked number. ourselves out of it. We shouldn't have changed that one. <laughs> But it is, that is a pretty wow. weighty kind of thing. And it would take- It was something in the back of my mind. I said eight and a half comes into mind and we switched to six and a half. Oh. It can't be that heavy. Well, you know, I don't know. I never would have known this. How many <laughs> zeros or some of these things were things you could kind of figure out. Some of them were kind of like, oh, I don't know. How many pounds does, oh, uh, how many zeros are in a quadrillion? Quad, quadrillion, it's 15. How many amendments are in the US constitution? It's 27. Yes. Yay. How many zeros in the Ouch. quadrillion? 15. 15. Out. Okay, good. How many M tiles are in the game Scrabble? There are a few people here who know their Scrabble. It is two. Yes. yes. Uh, Which you would think would be a lot more for a letter like M. Yeah, I thought so. But no, I picked M because I figured that would be a kind well, of. Well, if you spin the W upside down, does that count? Mm. <laughs> they definitely look different. Um, how many chromosomes do humans have? It is 46. Yes. Ooh. Remember the, the 23 and me and then doubling. Mm. Okay, how many days until Easter? This was really fun watching you guys work this out. Oh. I, I have pity for you because I used so a calculator. Much fun. So I much fun. the internet. So it is 311. Oh, oh my oh. God. Yes. One team I know got it right, unless they changed it. So no, we didn't do that. Oh, we didn't do that. Job, we Kelly. Kelly. Kevin. I added them up and I took the average of two Sundays <laughs> plus maybe wild two ass days. guess, and it's right. Well, it wrong. My arithmetic was right once I remembered that October existed, so it's still a win <laughs> in my heart. <laughs> <laughs> Three hundred yeah, Kelly. days. So I feel write that down. Close. <laughs> 311. So yeah, I saw one team had it. it was and I thought, oh, well, we I was out. I was off by a week. I oh. thought it was gonna be off by two or three days. I would have bet a lot of money we weren't gonna get that right. <laughs> I didn't think it was it. I thought it was off by two or three days. There's some good I would have some good it. thinking in some of the groups. I saw you guys like thinking it through. Well, wait a minute. And then I saw I think you guys pretty much got this last one right. How many hearts does an octopus have? I think Julie joined in and said three, and that is correct. Uh. I wouldn't have done that, but that's how I write my questions. I don't know you the answers. You almost had there. nine. Wow. Yeah, we were one off for nine. Myself. And if we hadn't flipped one, we were off by one point on one of them, and the other yep. one we flipped it. Oh, we could have had tapped. Very good. So let's see how we did. I'm averaging about eight. I think you guys got seven or eight is probably about right. So into the into the height of the woods, how many did you get? Six. Mm. Okay, anomalous enemy anemones from Washington. Six. It keeps giving. <laughs> <laughs> Zombie gracklins that will change the orbit of the moon. Grackles, and we got five. Oh, wow, I'm surprised. Okay, Forest Service moon moving unit. Eight. Okay. Is that Sarah right there? Hi, Sarah. She's home. Good to see you. Uh, team Lithuanium. Eight. eight. <laughs> Somebody got an eight. Very good. So six, six, five, eight, eight, right? Two eights? Yep. 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 Very good. Okay, so we're going to do one more round and take a break. You guys up for it? Yep. Okay, the next question, the next category is kind of again in the same genre of, of things that don't really associate with each other. They're, I'm calling this category oddities. So it's odd things. And they, they're not they, that odd. Okay, so somebody want to mute? Uh, Isabella and Kelly both have, my, have the powers. I'll do it. Okay, oddities. Okay, oddities in three, two, one. Okay, here we go. 
So question number one in the category oddities, Leonardo da Vinci left thousands of pages of notebooks that were published in the 1880s. Besides being written in Italian, why would they be difficult for the average person to read? What year did you say? 1880s, they found these, these were oh, published they found in the 1880s, published in the 1880s. Why, besides being in Italian, would they be difficult for the average person to read? Okay, question number two. I can't wait to get into your rooms and, and listen to you guys discuss these. Question number two, what's the average speed of a stagecoach in miles per hour in the stagecoach years? Question number three, I hope I say this right. What word play, I guess it's pigeon to become is P-Y-G-G -G, and you'll see it in this chat. What word play P-Y-G-G -G to become? Question four. A balance, a tear, and a swag are all parts of what? Question number five. What famous outlaw was using the name of Mr. Howard at the time of his death? Question number six in a category oddities. What legendary star became the first person to turn down the Academy Award for Best Actor? In 1970, this happened. So of all the years they had Academy Awards for Best Actors, somebody in 1970 said, I'm turning that down. Who was it? Question number seven. Richard something, you'll see, was a serial killer who was nicknamed the Iceman. How did he earn this moniker? Question number eight. What country did the Punch and Judy uh, theater originate? You remember Punch and Judy? I know you all remember Punch and Judy. What country did it originate from? Question number nine. The Chinese refer to the United States as Mi Gui. G-U-O. What is the meaning of this name? M-E-I-G-U-O. And the last in the oddities category, what television sitcom had students known as Sweat Hogs? Any questions? Oh, you guys are awesome. Nobody's got a question, okay. Let's go play. Play nice. Let's see how they do it. Let's start at the end. Teen laugh and a life of belief. Eight. Eight really? to twelve. The average speed. I mean, you don't run horses, especially when they're pulling a stagecoach. Okay. For long periods yeah. of time. Eight sounds good to me. We're not talking the top speed. We're talking the average speed. Average. Okay. Yes. Okay. With Number wooden three. wheels. Number three, clay pigeons. Does that sound right? I know that's what. In as much as I understand the question, is is that what well, like bricks or something? Clay pigeons. <laughs> it's for skeet shooting. Yeah, that's but a, that's not how like, they spell it. Well. Well, you yeah, but that's what they call them now. But you see, it the original form was clay pig pig, p y g g. Okay. I that, think it that popped into my mind, but for some reason I was thinking it was bricks. No, 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 it's for skeet. Not average. A horse, horse. 
run for horses? 40 miles an hour. Yeah, but miles per hour means horse hours, right? So if there well, were six horses, it would be six miles per hour, right? Are these fat, lazy horses or are these like Kentucky Derby horses? These are average, average horses. Are, okay, so keep stage. in mind, keep in mind that the stagecoaches was like a transport. It was like it, yeah. you know, get you from one place to the other and, and it, it took sometimes hours to go from one place to the other that's you probably about, yeah. make your horses run they were probably at the most trotting which would probably be about five or six miles an hour unless they were going like up a hill or something but and I'm, I'm not sure if it was four or six horses they probably did both I would think but I mean yeah horses can run really fast with a with yeah but on horses. average and dragging you're not, uh, you're not gonna make stage coach it. yeah you don't want to run them into the ground if they fall apart you're stuck all, you know it's like having a flat tire you're done yeah maybe like 20 kilometers an hour like a person running i just realized i was <laughs> asking for miles per hour because i, I think yeah. it's like well, five remember or when cars five they or talk about my tire? maybe i mean look at a person like if you're running like like not during no, that five, yeah. five you can walk yeah, at five miles an hour chocolate for a couple of weeks. well if yeah. it's on paved yeah. highways but i don't think yeah. the stage coaches <laughs> they didn't have on. paved roads i paved would say five miles yeah. an hour no i would yeah. say 15 or 20. but it's also pulling it's pulling it yeah, but yeah, there's how many there's four or six of them on uh right on there's, a there's probably at least two if not six horses so i mean are you talking city or highway and, and yeah. we don't know hey, we don't hey well stagecoach i don't way. think they were i don't think stagecoaches really were just in, no like, horse in can, a city right they would be no from, horse can keep up a canter for very long a horse can canter for maybe a mile and then they've got to slow back down to a trot so I would think a, it would be about twice what a human could walk it. Yeah. A yeah. trot is maybe 10 miles an hour. Maybe um, max. They're pulling maybe. the It would take it and would take a year average. to go. It would take years to go anywhere at that time. And it kind of did. That, yes, it did. It did. <laughs> yes, it did. Not years, but <laughs> months. Yeah. It yeah. took <laughs> two days. It took two days to go from here over to the fa our family farm. And they stopped midway, but they were going through Oregon forest, muddy, his daughter. Oh, great. <laughs> Definitely not doing arithmetic on recording anymore. <laughs> <laughs> so what do you think, Paula? You think that's freezer, freezer guy? Is that... I don't remember him putting anyone in a freezer. Did he use an ice pick? I think he used all kinds of tools. <coughs> Damn it. Let me think about that. Did he kill people in Iceland? No. <laughs> <laughs> Richard yeah, that's looks like he's traveling. taking something to drink out of the sky. He's like, a U.S. guy. Like star and here's my drink. That one. That galaxy. Ah, A and W. I'm having diet, Dr. Pepper. I found some. Yeah, really? I saw. I heard it. I have now. to travel about 40 minutes on a train to get it, and it costs $24 for 12. That's it. Damn. Yeah. Enjoy it. Or Saturday uh, night fever or any of those things. Peace. Or what was it? Phenomenon. That was Maybe. a pretty good movie. Mm hmm. Yeah, despite him being in it. Right, exactly. Hey, Caesar. As I understand, he is also a real ass and is banned from Pebble Beach. So are a lot of people. It doesn't mean they didn't make an enjoyable movie. Oh, no, really? I'm pretty sure he's like really yeah. bad. Yeah, I feel the, I feel the same way about Tom Cruise. Like I mean, he's I a complete he's whack pretty job, pretty but I, I can't help but watch his movies because he's a pretty darn good actor and he's entertaining to watch. Yeah. yeah. Well, he gets cast into things that are pretty easy for him to do. Yeah. Not that they're easy, and you know, particularly, but he's he's got a he fits those roles pretty darn well. What are you talking about yeah. what <laughs> are you done? Actors. Yeah, pretty much. We're all over the place. Are we missing anything? I don't. I don't. Think so. We have an answer for everything. Whether or not it's correct, who knows? Right. We have an answer for everything. Well, so they're written down. They must be right. Sure. Yeah. 
Well, they're written down, and I'm looking at them over the internet. I wrote them in pen. Therefore, they must be right. Go ahead with the next. Susan. Hi, Susan. Susan. We have a question for you. Is there a spelling error in question number three? No, we don't know what a PYGG is. That's spelled correctly? Susan, how's Imogen? I think it's correct. Right, because she actually said PYGG, I think, when she read yeah. it. Hmm. Is okay. it is do, do you have any idea what a, a hunk of clay when you're when you're making a bowl or something? Is there a name for it's it? Or not it's not that called word. A, it's, it's it the clay is called it's it's green. Um before it's fired, it's called oh. green, but it's I don't know that the clay itself has another word for it. Because if they were for skiing shooting and they become dust yeah <laughs> to become well maybe it's pigeon maybe they become pigeons clay pigeons that's what you're but that's a, that's key he, right he said well they're a replacement for pigeons yeah i think we should oh, would it be pigeons they're supposed I'd, to be i'd put that down Let's put pigeons as our That's working the title. closest guess we have. Can't do it. Okay. It. Don't tempt me. Um, this is the I, only I, one I knew, number four. They used to shoot live pigeons, apparently. Okay. So we're talking pigeons, clay pigeons. Yep. Or, ske or skeets. It's all you. Number four is easy. Everybody knows this. Yeah, we yeah. do. We do. Well, there you go. Well, maybe. Some sort of I, electron. I, oh, it is okay. I I, I figured that. Grapes. Okay. Grapes. Grapes. Curtains. Yeah, I, I have some valences right up here. Yep. A number or, five. Would you call them curtains? I'd call those stripes and curtains. They're, are they're window treatments. Yeah. Window <laughs> treatments. I love it. I love That's it. Better. Okay, window treatments. <laughs> number five is Jesse James. Yes, I agree. My husband sings a song. <laughs> called Jesse James and, and there's a line in that song that, that goes that dirty little Howard that dirty little coward that shot Mr. Howard laid poor Jesse in his grave. Right. Oh so, yeah, I yes. know that song. Dirty little coward yeah. that shot Mr. Howard. Oh, she knows laid that. poor Jesse in his grave. Yep. Poor Jesse, murderous yeah. fucker. <laughs> think how think think how well you can play that Robin with a five hundred dollar bow. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> which i don't need to play that song <laughs> you guys almost done uh, no, no, no. we're on no. five we're on no, five number six we're on six we're at six who's six. the first person brando oh yeah no wait wait yeah. wait 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 no. maybe not because he may have been later you know how i was thinking of is um uh damn it Patton. what's his name he played Patton. Um, oh yeah George, George, George scott, scott. I, yeah, because he did that, and he would that. Now he, he would have been. Godfather that would have been was earlier. later than seventy, I think. You think so? I think I think Brando was yeah. definitely seventy yeah. because that was the first Godfather. Okay. I think, right. but yo, that now you bring up a good one because yeah, George C. Scott said no too. So I don't know that he necessarily did not accept it. He sent up someone else to accept it for him. Oh, Brando didn't. Yeah, you're right. Yeah, Brando, Brando rejected it because yeah. of Native Americans or something. But he didn't reject it. So the Native American went and got it. Yeah, oh, okay. yeah. I think I think like seventy two. But I, I think it might be. I think it might be Patton. Patton. Oh, you're right. I mean, Percy yeah. Scott. Percy Scott. Scott. That's Scott. I think we should go with that. All right. Everyone else will go with oh. Brando. <laughs> What's the what? What are we going with? George C. Scott. George C. Scott. Patton. Because he, he was, uh, that was out of the blue, but he, yeah, he did. He said, no, it's stupid. He was old and cranky okay. by then. Okay. Seven? Number seven, uh, he's called the Iceman because when he was, to this guy, Richard Klaklinski, Klik, he was like a mob, like murder guy. He was involved, supposedly he was rumored to have killed Jimmy Hoffa, but essentially the reason... He's called the ice one because when he was killed, he was pushed into some river. I think I it was, he died in Boston and essentially they found his body and it had ice crystals in the uh, body tissue. That's why it's called the ice man. 
and because it's talking ourselves out of it. All right, we're 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 done. We're done, Susan. We're about to go right. back. Let's leave the room. Make it worth maybe, not walking. Yeah, maybe even a little a tad faster than that then. Are you guys almost done? I can't remember if you fast. said you were or not. Yeah, we're close. So pretty close. But I'm happy with 10. I mean, if we're gonna go with 10, that's that's okay. Because I don't know. And there were there were various stations also. It wasn't it wasn't as extreme as the Pony Express, but you exactly. would yeah. stop at a station and get new horses. Susan's back. You're Hi, Susan. Back, right? I think you're done. Did, didn't we want to ask her about the? Yeah. The, how many? Uh, how many horses? And, how many horses on the stagecoach? I don't know. Yes. Thank you. That was my question. Because it matters. Because you know, if there are no, if the if it's just the stagecoach itself, then the answer is zero. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> But a two yeah, horse stage I've coach. Missed, I've missed so much coming into these rooms and listening to you guys. A two horse stage coach and a four horse stage coach would get different speeds, I would think. Mm -hmm. Are we or is it just you have more stage coach or more stage coaches, more horses based upon the load that you're carrying? That could be too. That's a good point. And not necessarily the speed. Right. That's a great and, and And horses will tire out probably at the same rate, whether there's two pulling a stagecoach or four pulling a stagecoach. You think they put their little feet up and coast? They're like, okay, I'm taking a break. And they just... <laughs> <laughs> no, I don't. You don't think isn't, so? Isn't that, why you, isn't that why you yoke them together so that one can take a break? <laughs> they're like, I'm on my 15. <laughs> I'm on my 15 minute break. Yeah, they're, they're always dragging half the horses. <laughs> Seven. I have he left the AC turned down. Are you guys almost done? Sorry. Yeah. We're just reviewing the answer. Full blast. A AC full blast. A full blast. Yeah. Catching because usually usually they'll tell you that when the plane lands. I, yeah, they'll tell you. you was stressed out. My my wife had food poisoning yeah. at Disney World. Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. That time we yeah, rushed we home, that. but we missed the flight, and we had all these other things happening. You know. It Nowadays, was, if you use your phone for your clock, most of them just automatically update when you. Yeah, but this was this was twenty years ago. Right. Eastern Airlines, put it that way. <laughs> what? That's a thing. It used to be Eastern Airlines. Eastern yeah. Airlines, yeah. Oh, I, I forget who that. ended up gobbling them up. And and smoking was not allowed, but barely they had they had smoking on the planes, and they had <laughs> just started saying no smoking, and we just sat next to the plane hours. isn't smoking. It used to be they allowed it in in the section, the back section. We end up getting stuck next to a guy with a cigar. Well, I'm always curious uh, about this. If, uh, who's from another country here? Paula. Yeah, I never asked you that question. Like, you know, like is is the like smoking as as uh, difficult to do in public places as it is in the U.S. in, in Argentina? Uh, you cannot smoke inside places anymore. Since and is it, was that was that recent, or is it, has that been for a while now? Twenty ten, I. think. No, yeah. 2015, I think. Well, that's very recent then. Okay. Yeah, yeah, pretty recent. Kind of, but yeah. you can smoke on the street. Yeah, that's not a problem. Oh, well, yeah. You can somebody smoking on the street a couple of days ago. He was yeah, having he a cigarette here. after getting off a motorcycle. And I was looking at him like, wow. <laughs> that guy's smoking. <laughs> when we went to is Colorado. Is that rare here in California? It really is. that rare? Colorado in 2016. It is that odd when you see somebody, you go, Oh, that's right. It's not rare in Las oh. Vegas, right? Because every time we've been to one well, of the yeah. Vegas, we've seen people smoke there. Burn people that don't normally smoke smoke when they go to Vegas. Yeah, but uh, really, when you, when you talk about marijuana, what? though, it's a different issue. Because uh, one of the biggest political issues in Las Vegas is whether they can, they can allow smoking in the casinos. Uh, they need to get rid oh, of really? Yeah. They now have smoking sections in the casinos because they don't want people leaving the gambling to go smoke. That's yeah. I can't, and, and I can't you imagine the, what it's like working there. You have like, a clear glass yeah. and you can't see anyone in that room because that's yeah. always how the airports <laughs> work. Oh, you know, yeah, you see airport. everyone crowded into the airport and you can't even see how many people are in the room because it's filled with so much smoke. Well, in Vegas, they have these incredible filtration systems so that you can barely smell the smoke. 
That's not so much, oh, though. It depends on well, that. It depends on where. It depends, on, it depends, it depends on which area. casino you're in. I mean, there's yeah, some in California, yeah. Indian casinos allow smoking because it's Indian. All right, y'all. So what we're going to do is I'm going to give the answers and we'll get the scores. And then I want to take a picture real quick before anybody disappears to, to take their dog away or something. And then we'll do announce, take a five minute break, do announcements. So come back for round three. So I want to suggest to you that if you had something in mind you wanted to do for your photograph, you might want to grab it pretty soon. So here's the answers. I've, I've missed it so much. You guys have no idea how much I miss going in and listening to you guys reason it out and people come up with the perfect answer. And there's somebody goes, no, that's not right. <laughs> and they talk about it. You can still it. technically do that. It's just. Yeah, it happens. Okay, so number one, Leonardo da Vinci used to write in mirror writing. Easy. So you'd need a mirror to see the only easy one. kind of how it was that he was writing. Really interesting guy. And the converse and the one that I think <laughs> had you guys most perplexed from the longest discussions was the horsepower of a half well the horsepower miles per hour for a stagecoach. It was eight. Yes. <laughs> oh, oh nice guess. I'm Ready sorry. We had it and we took oh. ourselves out of it. Plus or minus one, right? No. <laughs> Plus or minus two, right? So no. close. <laughs> <laughs> So number three was not a misspelling. This is, I don't really know how to pronounce it, but the the word, uh, what these things became later is piggy banks. Yay! Yay! Oh, and I'm putting oh, a link Kevin. to that in the chat. Interesting. Um, a balance, a tear, a swag are all parts of drapes or curtains. Okay, what famous outlaw? And, and uh, Robin, did you give us, give us the line? Uh, but you have to be unmuted. Uh, that dirty little coward that shot Mr. Howard laid poor Jesse in his grave. Oh, that was who it was. Jesse James. Thank Jesse you, Robin. James. That was perfect. Bravo, bravo. <laughs> I, I didn't imagine it. And then yeah, uh, this one, I'm really happy this you guys had Brando, but it's George C. Scott. And I heard oh. Alan say, wait a minute. Could it be George C. Scott? Yeah. No, he said, nice could word. it be Patton? <laughs> <laughs> so what was the reason for George C. Scott? He, was he a didn't great like that the Oscars put actors in competition with each other. Right. Yeah, that was his reason. Yeah, uh -huh. I didn't believe that that was the... <sighs> okay, so we all, Richard, we all knew it was Brando. <laughs> so this guy, the Iceman, uh, he froze a victim to conceal the time of death. Yes. Oh, I just called the ice. Uh, did you see the movie? It's unbelievable. Susan? Susan? It's really good. Well, his, Iceman Cabela's coming. Is wrong. Susan? His, his, I think it was on HBO. You're wrong. It yes. It, it's it's on it. Netflix. That's not entirely Iceman true. Coming. Well, that's I will, what I've got written down. I will argue my point based on a Netflix documentary that I recently watched that said the reason he was called the Iceman was because when he died, there were ice crystals found in his body tissue. No, but he was called the Iceman while he was still alive. Well, yeah, and that too, but that was also another reason. Well, so this, this, my this is how did he earn the in a freezer. He was a serial killer who was nicknamed the Iceman, so he was named the Iceman while he was still alive. It's a good so movie. he might have had ice crystals in his body. Well, we, we could ask Cougar, Merlin, Maverick, and Goose if they think he was called Iceman. <laughs> mm -hmm. So, I I, so Punch and Duty... Punch and Judy, I know you guys all remember this, right? It yes. is Italy. Italy. Yay. Yep. Punchalina and Punchiello. Did you, I don't know if you don't remember that or you did it on purpose, but that was actually oh, the exact yeah. question. Yes. Thank you, exactly Leonard, because I was not there. And pasted it. Okay. Good. Um, you guys may or may not remember the year. Anybody remember the years? No. It dates back to it was ancient, year. ancient 1600s, though. Yeah. at least. So that's that not a question I'm just saying. It's old. The Chinese refer to America as beautiful country. Oh, oh pretty close. Nice to work. Hey. And the television sitcom was Welcome Back, Cotter. Hey. And it starred some people who went on to do very well for themselves, including John Mr. Travolta. Katana. Gabe Kaplan. Gabe Kaplan, yeah, it was a very popular show. So Leonard, Mr. Leonard, 
Oh, what was it that we were doing yes. the other day and they said, why does a Leonard just take a picture of the screen? What was that we were doing and Leonard wasn't here? What was it? Do you guys remember that? No. It was at the uh, at the get together at your house. It's That's really right. It's it was really at the hard. get together at my house. I said we need to take a, a a picture of everybody in trivia and some and somebody said let's have Leonard do it. <laughs> <laughs> I need to get the scores from you guys really quick first. So let's just sorry. Score. I was I was in Bend. I couldn't do it. I know, but you were thought of at least to take our picture. So. Aww. Zombie Grackens, 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 which will change the orbit of the moon. What do you got? We got five. So That's I think we your dice roll. By five. Yeah. So, right. You uh, predicted uh, our score with the dice roll. There you go. Anomalous enemy and enemies from Washington. At seven. That's six. Into the height of the woods. Seven. Ooh. Oh, I got six. Six or seven? Seven. Okay. That's six. <laughs> I thought I thought I thought I heard uh, Jamie. Forest Service Moon Moving Unit. Seven. seven. And Team Lanthium. Eight. Eight. Oh my gosh. Oh. And we have the first uh, breakaway. We had a tie a few minutes ago, and with that, they were able to. Uh, break one point out. So here's your score so far. Oh, Jamie's right. We had six. So anomalous enemy and enemies. Six. Oops. I miscounted. So I don't want to be right. Okay, good. Uh, that's what I was. I was thinking too. Sixteen. We are a little bit spread. So if we could get a photo and then take a five minute break. Great. Ah, uh, Carl. <laughs> <laughs> you see with those things in the background all the time, you always wonder, I gotta have my armadillo, I guess. Susan, I never met your armadillo. He's been right here. No, but like when I was at your house last week. And He's I been here right next to me all this time. Do you know the way to armadillo? <laughs> There's a lot of horseback. I hope Leonard's getting ready to yeah, stage coach. I don't even see him on my screen. Oh, there he is. He's muted. He's talking away. He's probably taking all the pictures already. Leonard, you're muted. Muted. Hey, guys, guys, what was the answer to number six? All right. So she's got three, <laughs> three, two, one, picture. All righty. Got it? Got it. Thank you very much. It was George C. Scott. All right. Okay, five minutes. No. Um, before we go for a break, everyone and Susan, um, it, it is a momentous occasion. This has really meant a lot to so many people, Susan. So I wanted to do a share screen and you can read it later. People will be adding to it. But I want to let you know. Hi, Mark Edward. Hi, everybody. Was that, who was that? Wait, Karen's saying something. Go ahead, Karen. That was Richard. Richard. Hi, Richard. Hi. Hmm? Karen? Gonna scare her, share yep. her screen. And Sharing she, something? She, I, that's as far as I got. What did you say, Karen? Um, so I wanted to let you know that people are, this has really meant a lot to people. So at, in your le leisure time, because I know you have so much free time because you're not a busy person, please take the time to go to this link I'm going to share with you and read all the comments of their, oh my goodness their, their it's favorite, organized too their favorite susanism <laughs> memorable team names oh my god you're kidding me <laughs> oh that's hilarious and uh people will be adding to it because there was a little problem with the link and so forth so it will be changing over the course of the next 24 hours. Oh, this is hilarious. But that's for you. Oh, I love it. It is so organized. It's like got things on it. I mean, <laughs> organized and charted and everything, just the way I love it. Oh, my goodness. So how do I get to this link? It's, it's, it's magic, Susan. Here. I just want oh, I love it. Thank you, guys. 
Congratulations. <laughs> nice idea, everybody. Karen. There it is. Online mm -hmm. cards. Look, folks, we'll still have comments. Okay, that. Oh my gosh. Congratulations, everybody. Yes, thank, you. Thank, you. thank you. Yay. Thank, thank you. Awesome. Thank you, Susan. Good job, Karen. Hey, Susan. Thank you, Karen. Great thank job, you. Karen. That was a great idea. That is it's a beautiful. very good idea. Oh, you've got some people in here. I hadn't even. <laughs> Kitty. Wow, you've got people in here. I hadn't even. Uh, how did you get a hold of all these people? We're very clever. <laughs> right. This, she thing, this thing called the internet. Oh my goodness, look <laughs> at that. Wow, you even got Wendy. Oh, that is so sweet. Night, Avi. Good night, Avi. Good night, Avi. Good night, Avi, wherever you are. Oh, here it talks at the top. At the top. Done, done. Susan, not perfect. <laughs> Oh, I love this. Okay, I'll read it over. Oh, here comes here comes Brian. You can read the whole thing over? I will eventually here real quick, but I need to uh, take my five minute break. I'll see you guys in a few minutes. Okay, I need to. Confirm that somebody's putting our chickens in. Oh, I just saw Paula typed into the chat. She's leaving. Bye, Paula. Oh, bye. Not going bye, anywhere. Paula. Um, let me know if you need credentials to get. Actually, I guess you can set up a free trial for HBO Max. Bye, Southern Paula. <laughs> I'm not going anywhere. Quit saying bye to me. Hey, Paula. Which one? You. <laughs> uh, last time I saw you was in Salinas, wasn't it? That could be. Were you there? Was that for the? Uh, um, to camp. Get to camp. Yeah, yeah. You came. That's right. You were. Um, yeah, you at, at Susan's house. So that you was came. January of. Uh, oh, I don't want to think. Twenty twenty. Twenty twenty. Yeah. And then I went up to Susan's a uh, few weeks weekends ago for the get together there oh man and I that's the first this. time i'd seen her since the skeptic camp too wow i i i, I realized that since COVID started i really haven't at, i don't think i left la county Jeez. I'd, i cancel a a cruise to mexico a flight to hawaii wow so did you but see what i did yet yesterday no, because one thing we were talking about is like everyone's saying, "What happened to Richard? We haven't seen him in a while." Well, I, I've just, <laughs> I just took, I just took. Well, I had work come up periodically, which, so I couldn't make it. And then just a couple of times, I just, you know, I just needed a, took a little break yeah. from it because it's it's in the middle of the day for me. I know, <laughs> and it can be a bit problematic for, to, to to have the time. But yesterday, I just at random spur of the moment last minute decision i jumped on a train and traveled up to the mountains and spent an hour walking around the snow it was great yeah i should do that. i need to I'm, I'm saving up to buy a better vehicle where i would trust it to uh do that so well, for, I, I just for, i just jumped on a train uh, it, yeah. two hours from here i'm up in the local hills which they call mountains which aren't tall enough but anyway but it does snow up there and yesterday it was snowing and people said oh my god it's snowing i thought stuff it it's been so long since i've been to oregon and enjoyed the snow i'll just jump on a train oh i and didn't even was, know you were there it was cold what you'd expect mm -hmm. man let me get my cat um Paula, he's not in Oregon now. He's still in Australia. Okay. But I know, <laughs> but then he said Oregon, and I'm just confused. Oh, no. Oregon I, does have snow. No. Yes, Richard, I, miss, it, I miss being in the snow in Oregon. So Okay. Richard, is snow cold in Australia as well as here? It, surprisingly, yes. I can't okay. figure it out. But they, I thought since it was but upside down, maybe it was. Yeah. <laughs> it was but it's, it's cold in uh, Celsius. Well, it's cold in Fahrenheit well, too. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, if you go to my Facebook page, you'll see a little video I made of 
the snow. It's, you looked it's quite, quite chilly in that. It, it was. It was. <laughs> well, it, it's because it's um, not a dry, dry. It's moist, so that made made it feel a lot colder. I don't think there's a train that would take me to no. snow from Los Angeles. <laughs> Because we have, you know, close by uh, uh, mountains where it does snow and they have all the uh, ski resorts and everything, but you've got to okay. drive there. Right. You can take a, you can take a stagecoach. <laughs> <laughs> At an average speed of eight miles an hour. Right. Yeah. <laughs> I can just imagine all the cars honking behind us. <laughs> Susan didn't like our uh, question about that. Uh, about that question, we wanted to know how many horses were on the stagecoach. Because if the stagecoach didn't have any horses, the answer was obviously zero. Zero. <laughs> oh, you're so funny! Funny. How many did stagecoaches have? I assume four at the minimum, but I um, could be more. If it was recording while I was gone, that's hilarious. That, you guys, I have been laughing. Mark and I have reading over the what Susan's favorite, favorite Susanisms. Those are freaking hilarious. You guys are great. <laughs> wow. Susan, there's one thing I want to point out. Oh, I have I was the volume turned down so I can't hear you people. Susan, there's one thing I wanted to point out. When I visited you in Salinas, I moved around the hat on your little gargoyle thingy and it looks like it's still been turned around. No, we turned it back. Oh, okay. I don't you know because it had the I little had switched it easily and I and I went and turned it around. Uh-huh. Oh, these are hilarious. It's a shame. What's the name of the team I'm on? Because I'm just not sure. <laughs> Susan. <laughs> yes. Susan, did you look in the mouth of the gargoyle? Yes. Did you put something in there? Yeah. <laughs> It was a popcorn. What was in there? I can't remember now. It was a little bird. Oh, my little chick. Mm -hmm. <laughs> we were like, I looked at that. Deborah came over. Deborah was here. Remember Deborah? Yeah. And I said, Deborah, there's something in my, there's a, a chick, my baby chick's in his mouth. And I said, Deborah, did you do that? Because Deborah once took something red, like a pedal or something and stuck it in the mouth so there's this red <laughs> pedal there and i said deborah did you just put a chicken in my face? no goes, no i did not so it's been there all this time since the 30th oh that's funny we were like what the heck <laughs> you guys are so funny oh these are great anyway what team am i on you know what team you're on, don't you? Where, no, you just put me on a team, and I they already picked the name, so I never heard the name. Uh, you It'll be on the screen when you get when you get sent to. Who are you? Who are you? Into the height of the woods. Into the height of the woods. Yes. Susan, will you give me a team? Or... Yeah. Hi, Brian. Yes, of Hi. course. So, so I wasn't sure. Punish somebody with putting me on their team, I guess. Or... <laughs> just lost oh. on me. Jim, what points did our team get for the last thing? Because I thought it was eight. You but are I didn't going know to be in. I think it was seven. I think. Okay, yeah. Now, now I see the third one. Okay, never mind. Okay, Brian, you're going to be in zombie Gracklins that will change the orbit of the moon. <laughs> Grackles. Grackles. That sounds about right. That's Grackle. So that'll be great. <laughs> oh, that's fun. Here's one for you, Susan. The moon and the earth, right? Uh huh. So if you were to estimate the distance between the earth and the moon using the earth as a unit of one, how many earths could fit between the earth and the moon? Three? No. <laughs> 10. Well, so I, I, the, I mean, so I, thinking. I, I can do the math. Isn't it six? It's close to four, I would think. It's about 30. Okay. Really? That many? That shows how big it is. Did somebody oh, give this eight. chart to Brian? Is it the, is the diameter 8,000 miles and 
the yes, first, and I, the, yes, Susan, uh, 80, 80, 80, no, can't 8,000. Thank you, Karen. So the, the, earth's down, the earth's diameter is. Okay, I'll close it because I don't want to lo keep looking at it for the moment. I yeah, think I also heard right. that all, and the all the is 25. Uh, no, that's the, that can't be right. And all the planets can fit between the earth and the moon, too, I heard. Yeah, um, but it's only if you turn Saturn, so the rings aren't there. All right, I didn't wow. think about that. Okay, so, so let's do our announcement. Basically, the, the, the moon is a lot further away than people it, realize. Yeah, yeah it's, it's about 30, 30 feet in there. Yeah, that's right. Yep. As has been said before, space is really, really big. Yeah, you know, it's just. <laughs> and really, really empty. I see very. Yeah, Leonard is talking a lot and is muted. You may think it's a long way down to the chemist, but that's just peanuts. That's peanuts space. compared to space. Space, <laughs> space is empty. That's why they call it space. Did, you, did, did somebody say chemist? Yeah, it was a like, Douglas Adams quote. All right, so so Richard, uh, when he had his episode about getting vaccinated, mentioned about oh, you could go down to the chemist, and I was actually wondering. So what do they call a chemist? It's a, pharma <laughs> a pharmacist. Well, I know, no, no, no. So what do you call chemist? somebody who's a chemist? Who's, you know, the, the person who works with chemicals. No, no. I think he's trying to say, so what the pharmacist 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 A chemist is somebody who works in a shop where you get medicine. No, I know that. But, but, if you have a chemist that uh, works with chemicals. All right, so, uh, so you, you go I, for under I understand Rob's question. You go for a degree, right? If, if, right, if, you, if you go for physics, you're a physicist. If you go for chemistry, you're a chemist. Um, Richard, what would you call? If a chemist is a pharmacist, what the fuck is a chemist? That's right. <laughs> That's what I'm trying to say. <laughs> a chemist will sell you lollipops at the chemist at the pharmacy. So but I went to the university. I got a degree in chemistry. What am I? What am I? English. Unemployed. <laughs> <laughs> a chemistry Pharma graduate. Show. If you play football in America, English, sometimes words have more than one meaning. Professor. If you play football in America and play football in England, it's two different things. I, I know. Yeah. Well, well, so is the answer you're also a chemist? And as you said, it has two meanings? You're a doctor chemist. Yeah, could do. I never thought about it. Through, like I was thinking about the moon. And <laughs> do they not have chemistry majors in Australia? Do we have anyone English here? Is there any English? I'm, I'll ask my sister. She lived in England for 25 years. Here's I, one for you, Rob. Wait. If you come to visit me in Australia and I say, Rob, I want you to go down to the store and buy some chips. What would you bring back? Um, I guess not uh, potato chips. French fries. Uh, French, French fries. fries. Actually, you, you could back. You could bring back crisps or French fries. They're both cool. Whatever chips. you like, they're both good. <laughs> you yeah, well, uh, because I'm fish and chips. That's the same, right? Fish and chips actually. Yeah, fries, but we right? call chips yeah. chips, and we call chips also chips. Integrated oh. circuits. <laughs> yeah, right. That's what I say. Integrated circuits. Yeah. So cool, let's do our in, announcements. Announcements on mugs. In so, in Australia, mm -hmm. Rice Krispies are called rice bubbles. Yes. No. Yes. yes. Rice, bubble. rice bubbles. I, I, rice the bubbles. Doctor told me I had those the last time I went. He said uh, rice <laughs> flakes are just frosties. Frosties, oh. rice bubbles, cocoa pops. What about cocoa crisp? Pops. Cocoa crisp. Cocoa crispy. Oh. What about oh. chips? Are they what we call chips? Yeah. Mm -hmm. I'm crisps, so, what we call it, chips. So going back to <laughs> data skeptic, let's have data skeptic. All right. Yeah, this week on data skeptic, I interview a researcher on the topic of detecting drift. So if you go and measure some data, uh, after a while, the underlying process may change. And we talk about ways people detect that on data skeptic this week. Data skeptic. All right, Richard Saunders. Coming up on the Skeptic Zone podcast, episode number 662 for the 13th of June, we look at the case of a hairdresser in the little town of Mullumbimby in New South Wales refusing to give service to people who have had the COVID-19 vaccination for Boy. fear that they might shed the virus. The Book of Tim with Tim Mendham looks at phantoms. And Trove this week, we wander through the digital archives to look for references to the occult. All that and more coming up on the Skeptic Zone podcast at skepticzone.tv. And I will be on the next one after that. Yeah, and you're the one after that. Yep. We recorded today. He's getting the exclusive for Operation Onion Ring. Hopefully, Onion Ring. 
Yeah, I really I, want some onion rings for some reason. I know. <laughs> I mean, here's the link. Here. I just put it's, it. It's four hundred dollars for onion rings. Four hundred dollars. Oh, yeah. No. Four hundred dollars for fifteen minutes of onion rings. All you can eat. But um, so I put the link in there if you guys haven't seen it already. I'm hoping that will make waves and not I don't get sued. I don't think I will, but we'll we'll see. I really hope not. Um, and that's that. And I can't wait to look at this thing again. So, yeah, that is really nice of you guys, Karen. That's a really good idea. That is just like right up my alley. It's so cool. Did Jane get to write on there too? Um, no, some people didn't. That's why we're going to leave it open for people to add to it. Yeah, please do. Because you know what I did for some people, especially on Facebook, if you're not already connected to them, they don't see your messages uh, in the forefront. Right. So. Oh, I love this. This is great. Okay. Woohoo. Um, round three. How are we doing so far, you guys? I've got another category that is, again, a kind of general category. So let's see how you guys do. This next category is called what city? And it could be anywhere in the world. So Isabella or Kelly? Oh, sorry, muting everybody in three, two, one. Susan, you're muted. I'm muted, that's not good. I said, okay. So question number one, what city was the TV show one day at a time? You're muted again. The current TV show or the 70s TV show? The old one. The old one. one day I know the time. theme song, does that count? <laughs> Hopefully somebody in the group will know. Question number two, what city, another what city cat question, what city in the US did Amelia Earhart start her round the world flight from? And that is a question we had similar to years ago, years ago, years ago, months ago when we had a category on just Amelia Earhart. Question number three, what city is Abraham Lincoln buried? Question four, what city is Mount Rushmore in? <clears throat> Question five, what city is the TV show Friends set in? <laughs> Question number six. <laughs> Well, that's just easy. <laughs> <laughs> killing it. Killing it. Right, so killing you guys talk about this one. <laughs> what city name is the most common in the United States? It's been used 186 times in 46 states. <laughs> oh. <laughs> <laughs> Question seven. <laughs> what large you what large city in Canada is the closest to the United States? Oh, that made me laugh. <laughs> Question uh, how eight. large? What do you call large? Well, not like 150 people or something, you know. A, a city, a big city. That's a a big -ish city. several a city. cities border. United States. So, so which one's closest? Weird question. They both well, closest them. relative to what and versus what? I'm confused. The closest to the United States. Uh, so uh, it's uh, several that right touch here. the United States. It's okay, from right what here. from what size city on up do you consider large? Over hundred. I mean, do you consider a hundred thousand large or yeah, something? yeah, a hundred thousand or bigger. All right, number eight. What city was Mozart? Wolfgang Mozart. That was a Wolfie? Wolfie. Wolfie. Wolfgang Amadeus Mozart. Yes, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. The voice, the, the dystopian voice in the background. 
Number nine, what city was Jerry Springer mayor of? Number 10, what city in England did the Puritans leave from? And that is all for the, for the cities. What city category? Any questions? Do you mean, when you say the Puritans, do you mean the Pilgrim Founding Fathers Pil Puritans? I think so, yeah, isn't it? What? Well, I mean, there were plenty of Puritans that went other places, but you're talking about the Pilgrims that came to America. They came to America, and yeah. Okay. That's the, you know, the famous, those famous ones. Okay. Okay, so it looks like you guys are okay with questions. I need to add Brian to his room, and I think that's all I need to do. Let's see, Brian, there you are. And you're gonna go into zombie. <laughs> Paula, Paula. But Windsor. Then, uh, ooh, Windsor. Ooh, ooh. There's but the Windsor, thing is, ooh, ooh. there's London, and then there's Vancouver, which are no, all London does not stop. Don't be London is way north. Okay. Uh, no, I, I, I didn't. Think, I, I, I've been thinking of southern, of southern Ontario there, but you know, I think Windsor might be the answer. But is uh, Windsor that. larger than Niagara Falls? I'm. I'm. Yeah. God, I don't. And know. is Niagara Falls a city? Yes. Oh yeah. There There's okay. Niagara Falls, New York. There's Niagara Falls, Ontario. Okay. Tracy uh, lived. Tracy lived wait, in Ontario. Wait, wait. So okay, <laughs> she thinks Windsor is a good answer if Windsor's big enough for the category. Right. Oh, and the Windsor's category... definitely. Windsor is definitely bigger than a hundred thousand. Uh, Windsor is a sizable city. Yeah. Um, okay. But but uh, I'm, we're trying to think of Niagara. Uh, but Niagara Falls. Is, but Niagara Falls, New York is a lot, I think, is a bigger city it's than bigger, Niagara. Yeah. So I um which is I mean, do we count the width of the whatever river separates them? Well, uh, because the 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 Niagara that the border is, is at the, is the, board, the border is halfway across the bridge. Right. <laughs> I mean, is the city right. border technically yeah, but they're about the same. same as the country border. That's they're there. It's about the same. Going across, I don't know, nitpicking. Going across the Niagara River or going across, uh, uh, what is that anyway? Is that the the what river is that? The, uh, I'm, where I'm there not is. sure actually. I'm not sure what body of water that 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 would be. I know from. this is Saint Clair. Saint Cl Lake Saint Clair is nearby. Yeah, but, that's more near Chatham. Yeah. Um, Okay, she knows what she's talking about. Well, but I, yeah, I, you know, I, okay. I think Windsor, wow, you're on question was, seven already, or are you just going to spend all the time? No, just we were out. just, we I, I asked question seven. <laughs> uh, but we were talking well, about, thought, wow, they got the first six already. No, we're, no, we're, you, we're, go we're away. you go away. I'm, I'm going away. <laughs> well, she didn't we're say which, she didn't say the largest two, city, Steven. right? Yeah, so a large, large city. So Niagara Falls is definitely large. Oh, yeah. Sorry, we're not always like this. Sometimes we're trying. We were just, we were comparing sizes. <laughs> oh, I got to go to stop. It's Toronto, isn't it? I was thought, that's what I thought of Toronto. But there's also Montreal. Yeah, but Toronto is really, really, really close, isn't it? What about Victoria? I think Toronto is Yeah. This, this is going to be contentious. Not necessarily closer. I only have one answer written down, and that's the correct answer. <laughs> <laughs> Every every okay, border. Then what is it? Has, what are you eating there, Susan? It's green jello time. Oh. It's green jello time. It's green jello time. You mean jelly, but it's all right. Jello. <laughs> it's jello in the United States. I know, I know. Do you guys remember the, the punk rock group, Green Jello? Absolutely. I love them. Yeah, they're oh great. Oh my God. If you want to. And see a little bit of Australian history, just go to YouTube and put in aeroplane jelly, and you get a lovely song. 
Oh, do you mean um, Adrian said she wishes she was here? She's got another migraine. Oh. Doesn't matter. Well, I, 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 I would su suggest we put Toronto because I, I, I think that's probably physically the closest to the U.S. border, but I'm willing to be correct. Well, there's I like there's Windsor right across from Detroit, and then Montreal's. Like, I, there's a town in Kansas that has they're 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 like, oh gosh, I cannot remember now. But there's a town in Kansas, or there are two towns with the same name in Kansas. And I'm trying to think of what they are. Oh, and you're on that question that I wanted. I thought was great. No, oh, we're talking about Canada. Up. Oh, <laughs> I'm just kidding. Well, there's obviously some states that have this name multiple times. Right, it has to. Isn't that crazy? Are we yeah, it's weird. Are we gonna I go mean, how would a state have the same name of a city more than once? That just right because right. it doesn't actually the city name doesn't. Why is West Texas in the middle of the state? <laughs> <laughs> I've never <laughs> thought of that. I don't think I ever knew that. That is a good ponderable. Could be Greenville. It's funny because the thing about it is like you could call wherever you're at. Like as long as your postal code is right, it doesn't matter what the city's called or the town's okay. called. That's true. Anymore, it doesn't know. Anymore, anymore, yeah. I was still here. Yay! So, what do you think? Yeah, I came to say bye, but uh, I'll stay for this one, and I'll just, I'll just leave because it's super late. So we're on what the most common, the common name. What's the question, Faith? <laughs> what city name is the most common in the U.S.? It's used 186 times in 46 states. <sighs> is oh, we can... Springfield. And the question is, are yeah. we going to use that yeah. same name twice? That's the another answer, remember? Yeah. Doesn't bother me. We can come Maybe back. that's why. You don't Maybe know why Susan laughing, is right? cracking up because it's yeah, the answer. cracking up because it's the same answer twice? Okay. Yeah. Uh, it should be like, like, let's keep it. Hey, it's the group. most common answer in this category. We could just that's guess right. it for all of them and get 20%. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> That'd be about our record so far. That's yeah. true. Oh, no, we have Good. 50%. Okay. Yeah. The largest Canadian city. I, I have a guess on this one. I think. I have, what ahead. do you think? I guess either Vancouver or Toronto. I guess I Toronto. Toronto. Oh, Toronto is too far from the border. I was going to say Windsor, Ontario. It's okay. right across the water. There's a bridge connecting Canada. How large is Windsor? It's all more than a hundred thousand. Is that okay. Niagara Falls? Town. Never it's even right across. It. It's the bridge between the Detroit and Canada. Great. Are there skyscrapers there? Oh, yes. Okay, then we're going to go. Okay, where was Mozart going? Oh, she's back. We have to stop talking about her again. Ah, okay. sorry. I went to the a different room. See, the, what happens <laughs> is the rooms, no, the rooms shift on me whenever I'm looking at the thing, and you guys got such freaking weird names. <laughs> Which one was I just at? Yeah, they 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 reordered themselves on my list. So where haven't I been? I will go here. Fine, I will go here. We just might be totally wrong. It might be the East Coast, but I don't know. No, we're being watched. Hello, Susan, and people from the future who are watching this. We're almost, <laughs> we're, we're, we're pretty much done. We've had a guess well, a few had, that we didn't know. They're looking to see. I want to see how you're doing, too. Oh, that's interesting. <laughs> Oh, seven. It's technically, wrong, we have to whittle it down, right? Yes, yeah, yeah. so that's correct. We have okay. to figure that what we want for that. I mean, I don't know either way, so I don't. Susan, the I, problem I have I is think seven. Niagara is, Falls is the answer. That's Niagara right. Falls is on the border, and it's a big city. Uh huh. It's not a hundred thousand, but uh -huh. you know, it's fifty thousand, uh -huh. something like that. Well, I've been um, there a couple times. So, so it's a city on said, the border of it's so it touches the United States. What is you guys got for 10? I can't see. Plymouth, but that's just a guess. So for Canada, it, they named Plymouth Mass after where they came from. That's the only thing I'm thinking of. Because all the towns in my area are named after English cities. Oh. For Canada, it's just a it's just a bridge or a tunnel from Detroit to Windsor. Is that a big city? Uh, see, there's so many cities that they border. I mean, the whole 
the whole Canadian border is a, in a city. Every single, every single, when you cross the line, you're in a city. Maybe she met, means metaphorical closeness. <laughs> it's a metaphor. Which one is the most like the U.S.? Yeah. The biggest, yeah, the biggest city. I hear Vancouver is just like Seattle. Kind of like, okay. There you go. Number six and seven. We're, we're still a little unclear on seven, but that's more of a definitional thing. Right. We just hey, ask Susan if it's the right answer or not, and she'll tell us. Yeah, yeah remember sure, with sure. The, number six with the Simpsons, they said they chose the name of a very popular city, so nobody will be able to claim, with no state would be able to claim ownership of the Simpsons. Right, right. that makes sense. So, Susan, yes. uh, I'm right here. If, uh, yeah, we, we, we know. Um, the 100,000 uh, population limit, uh, was that something you were just rectally inspired by or yeah. for number seven? Yeah. Okay, so it's, it's not necessarily that limit. It's just a number I pulled up. Yeah. I rolled a die. Be I. But basically, the city is something we would immediately recognize as a large city. There's no doubt about it. And she's not going to answer, but <laughs> uh, my cat was answering. I'm sorry, Hamilton. You were saying <laughs> he heard the question. He was just thinking about the answer. Okay. Was he telepathically communicating it? <laughs> and Susan's yes. did you send him a telepathic? Yeah, he did. Susan's telepathically answering. Yeah. Okay. Great. Did you get that picture? Okay. I mean, it came out and everything. You don't have to worry about it. Yeah, Leonard. You don't have to send it to me right the second. I just want to make sure it's okay. Do have a what? Could be. It's like 10 minutes before bedtime. Let me. Uh, Are you really hungry? Let me double check the picture. Hmm. How many Incrustables are left? Yeah, it's got like people in it, and Carl's got a funny face, and Robin's okay, as giving long as, as, a... as long as Carl's got that ridiculous uh, pillow that he's never had before for a picture, I think it's hilarious. Yep, and Robin's giving a peace sign. Yeah, we're we're good. Okay, good. I think we're about done. Let me go look and see how everybody else is done. Yeah, they're starting to come back. Let's come back. Okay, okay. We go okay. Can we go bye bye? Yeah, let's go bye. <laughs> All I heard was clay pig, and I want to know the context. <laughs> Paula. I put a link in the thing. Paula, Norm, like when she doesn't have her photo, when she doesn't have her own image up. Mm. It's like when we're recording. Is that Imogen or Hamilton? You know who this is. Don't hurt his feelings. Oh, sorry. Hi, Hamilton. I get a name for him. You don't want to know. I kind of like Ariadne's better, though. She actually sat with me. Which one was the one that brought me dead animals when I stayed with you? Uh, Hamilton. <laughs> Hamilton, right. You brought him a dead animal, didn't you? Now, be, you Hamilton, should have bragged about like, it because everybody's going to one, Richard. And gave me allergies. And then he he ran away from me. He was covered in dirt this morning. I don't know. Well, you were you were taking him out to the yard for I did. People. That was true. I maybe shouldn't never have never seen done the that. cat run so I, fast. I've never seen him life. jump that high before. <laughs> <laughs> Next time I'll just leave him in the room. So all right. So we're back. So Adrian misses us. She wishes she was here. She's got another migraine two weeks in a row, but she's gonna watch the video. So everybody say hi to Adrian. Hi. Hi, Adrian. Hi, Adrian. Hi, Adrian. And then, of course, we still miss Wendy. Hi, Wendy. Yes, Wendy. Wendy. Get better Wendy. soon. Yeah, okay. And Marijuana works, works, Wendy. Marijuana <laughs> works. Edibles. You know, my current image is not a ceramic pig. I think it's a uh, metal pegasus. And it was That's in that cute. little gallery that I saw when I visited uh, Susan. And near Monterey. Oh, yeah, we went to a really awesome. Uh, Trotter, Trotter Gallery. Museum. All right, so we're set for the next, for the answers, right? Sure. Right. Very interesting how this works. Okay. What you guys came up with these? Just fascinating. I, you know, like I said, when I write these, I don't necessarily know the answers. I'm What's not sure the biggest water that borders California? 
Biggest water? What's, yeah, what's the, that's the kind of question ocean? you just asked. What's the biggest Pacific water ocean. that touches California? Pacific, Pacific ocean. ocean. Pacific Ocean. Yeah. What if I said fresh water? Uh, <laughs> like <Tahoe. laughs> Okay, so it's one of those questions you can't answer. Sprites for number seven. So now the city that the TV show One Day at a Time was set in was Indianapolis. Okay. For one. Uh, Amelia Earhart left from Oakland. Oh. oh. oh right San Francisco, wrong you are wrong. You're very close. Damn. Damn, friend. Uh, the city that Abraham Lincoln is buried in is Springfield, Illinois. I was wondering if I was going to get some of you guys fooled by saying, oh, that's too obvious. There must be some other city nearby Springfield. But no, it's Springfield. Been there. Well, he's buried at the yep. Washington, at the Lincoln Memorial, obviously, in D.C. <laughs> Yeah, no, right. you said it right. He's buried he, in Grant's tomb. Well, yeah. actually, actually, <laughs> if, if anyone read uh, Abraham Lincoln, Vampire Hunter, he's not buried anywhere because, well, spoilers. But. <laughs> Mount Rushmore is in Keystone, South Dakota. Keystone. Okay. Nice. Or is it just outside of it? Keystone. What city is the TV show Friends set in? It's Manhattan. No, it's New York City. No, Manhattan is not a city. Manhattan. Well, Manhattan. it's all the same to me. It's New York. New York it's not all the same. New York is a city. I'll put Didn't New York. What borough. Okay. Um, the city name that is the most common in the United States has been used 186 times in 46 states. I'm going to go through the rooms. I want you guys to tell me what you put because I think it's really interesting. I have no idea what I would have put, but I don't think I would have put the right answer if I had been given this question. We put Springfield, but I had the feeling we're wrong. Okay, so we into the heights it. of the woods, would you put? Washington. Washington. <laughs> <laughs> I saw that on that list you guys sent me. That made me laugh so far. Mark and I were just going just down Susanisms. We were just reading those, and you were just laughing as we were going through them. Uh, anomalous enemy and enemies from Washington. What did you put? We put Springfield. Springfield. Zombie Grakens. Grackle. <laughs> Grackles put Springfield. She's doing that on purpose. Uh, Forest Service Moon Moving Unit. Springfield. Springfield. Springfield, right. Team Latham. Springfield. Springfield, Springfield, but I think it's wrong. It's Springfield. So everybody put Springfield, but yeah, one of you? Mm -hmm. Or do you want a little. Interesting. Um, so what was it? Columbus? Columbia? <laughs> it's Riverside. Oh, okay. <laughs> so obvious when you think about it. Wow. Really? I, it just seems odd that there'd be multiple Riversides in one no, state. It just seems no, strange. But I guess so. All right, number seven. Ooh. Don't yell at me, but the answer I have written down, which is the answer I'm looking for, because it's the answer on my spreadsheet is Montreal. Oh, oh that's ridiculous. Oh, that was an ambiguously phrased question. That's Nobody terrible. Niagara Falls quickly. is right across the river from Buffalo. And then Hang Windsor, on. Windsor, yeah. Windsor, Windsor, right Windsor, across the river. Windsor across the river. has over 200,000 population. It's right across from Detroit. Yeah. Yes. That's what we yeah. said, too. And the, uh, the, the, uh, Canadian, the Canadian contingent is debating this. Right on the other side of the border. It's uh, I I don't know if if Niagara Falls is, is quite that large. Uh, it's not. Windsor, I knew Windsor, the question didn't say that though. Get your get your heart beating and get your large motivated like wanting to fight, huh? Did, did anybody pick Montreal? <laughs> because if they didn't, it's just a nine question round. I mean, no, Mo I mean, Montreal I mean, I for sure. It. No, Montreal for well, sure. I no, I thought it, it because that's I've false. Driven. To Montreal from well, that's Montreal. what it told me when I googled it. So no, Montreal. What did you no, Google? That, Montreal, Susan right. googled wrong. What did you Google? What is the closest uh, city to the U.S.? It would either Florida. be it would have to be either uh, Windsor or Niagara Falls. Yeah, or Vancouver if it's something no. much larger. Vancouver is too far According away. According to Cora, it's Windsor. Van yeah, Victoria uh, is on Vancouver Island, so it's a even a little bit further. All right, away. all right, everybody, take a point. Yay! Yay. Yay. I knew if we badgered you enough, you'd get that point. <laughs> but you all get it, so it doesn't matter. So, so this is this is weird. I just googled it, and it does say I don't know what site this is. 
Oh, oh, you know why? Because it's Quora, which can be anybody answering. It. Right. The city I of Montreal, Canada is I the closest to the US. Quora, Quora, looking it up, Quora is like Family Feud. Yep. I didn't. I didn't. <laughs> I didn't. Nice. Is Montreal good, good. a capital city? No, Montreal is the capital of Quebec. No. no, I'm joking. No. Ottawa is the capital city of Canada. Anyway, yeah. the next one is what city was Mozart from? It was Salzburg, Austria. Yes. And what city was Jerry Springer mayor of? It was Cincinnati. Yes. Where they have flying turkeys. Nice what? one, Mono. What? <laughs> Mono the skyline Chile. And what city did the in England did the Puritans leave from? It was Plymouth. Yes. yes. It was what? Went to no Plymouth. way. Well, yeah, awesome. because they yeah, left from Plymouth England, and yeah. landed looked, in Plymouth. I had to read this. What a coincidence. Oh, was, Plymouth Rock. took off, and then their ship started having problems, and they had to go back. And, oh, what a nightmare it must have been for the poor people. And they had to schlep that rock from Plymouth all yeah. the way here. <laughs> yeah. That was that was half of what the ship hey, could they used, they used somebody, the stagecoach. Somebody tried to blow the rock up once. They put a stick of dynamite in there and they put a crack in it. And everybody was there. Okay. Susan, so you have, let's, let's, Plymouth Rock and you're a loud rhythm though. guitar. Susan, do you have a source for the uh, uh, Montreal? River? No, for the river. Riverside? I don't remember. Riverside. I wrote it for, on For Riverside? Because uh, according to World Atlas, it is Washington. Yay! And, and number two. Washington. Is, Washington. And number two is Springfield. Well, I said I, th I think that I article is out of date. So look up here's, the numbers. Here's a here's a link that supports uh, what Susan said. Thank you. That's right. I, I think the problem is Susan <laughs> is you worded it city and town, and those are two different things. That could be a city. A city is a city and a town are defined as two different things. Common city name, town. Yeah, there we go. Common. Yeah, there are no official. Yes. So the answer is I'm looking for is Riverdale. And if I have to use Riverdale. Karen. Riverdale, Riverdale or Riverside? Not Riverdale. <laughs> I'll have Karen. Did we suddenly so, get. Well, don't, don't, don't use yeah. it now. That's where Archie lives. Yeah. That's Riverdale. Right. Riverside. 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 Riverdale. All right. So score, score, score. So I gave you Brian. So you guys and the zombie cracklets. <laughs> Crackles. We got yeah, our so highest cool. score yet. Thank you, Brian. What is it? Seven. There you go, Brian. See? Yes. They were at five. Um, and next, anomalous enemy and enemies. Uh eight. There you go. Good chart, good score. Into the heights of the woods. Nine. Oh, oh, wait, I like nine. Which, one did we, which one did we miss? Riverside. Good we job. Even we right. yeah, that's true. All right. And yeah. then Forest Service Moon Moving Unit. Seven. Seven. That's not, that's not a bad number. And Kevin, Bob, Jim Preston, Carl, Kyle, and Rob. What do you got? We Holding are very eight. consistent, our third eight. Whoa, hey. eight, eight, eight. Damn. That was the numbers I played in that dice game. I kept saying eight, <laughs> eight, eight. eight. That, that was, you that were, you, it was precognition. You were looking, this is what, that, that's what that was about. I did it four times. Clairvoyance. Well, so that means you got an eight for the next one? You're producing. We got to get eight for the next one. For the last round? Or more. Here's where we are. We're 17, 20, 22, 22, and 24. Ooh. I just posted a video of the Plymouth Rock video I posted. Okay. It's about a minute long. These kids go on the tour of the country to visit Plymouth Rock. Is it a rock phone? Kind of uh, no, no, just a, just it's a little silly video some kids made. It's pretty fun. I write, uh, I like to, at the end of this, when I leave, I have, I have a big old bunch of tabs here open of all the different things I got to look at whenever I leave. It's just kind of funny what you guys, what we gather. <laughs> <laughs> okay uh going back to trivia last category of the night we're doing really well you guys stay all in here we go don't let the kitty in don't let the kitty, kitty in. stay out don't let the kitty in whoa whoa no wow 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 
right? My kitty's bad sometimes. It's dark. <laughs> Carmen, it was not dad. <laughs> not, not you. I think. The cat's <laughs> okay. So this last category, the last category for our one year anniversary. Actually, tomorrow is our real anniversary, just in case you know. Yeah. The category yeah. is another general category, and it is called oldest. Oldest. So who's my muter? Muting everybody in three, two, one. And it is still green jello time. All right, first question in the last category, which is called oldest. Oldest woman to win an Oscar for best actress. I got muted again. I got muted again, how weird. The oldest woman to win an Oscar for best actress. And here's what I'm sure I'm gonna get an argument over. Not because I think there's ambiguous answers. It's just that you guys like to argue with me. What US state has the oldest zoo? And I double and triple checked this. So. And I didn't use Quora. Question three. What country has the oldest continuous operating zoo in the world? Question four, who is currently the oldest active player in the NFL at 47 years old? He retired, but I know who you're talking about. Oh, did he just retire? I don't know. I wrote this question a few months ago. What is the oldest book in the world? That's question five. Define book. Uh, no field earth. Pages with binding. Yes, but like pages with binding codex? specifically a in a hardbound cover or are we talking something like a codex? No, I think it had a hardbound cover, something you would recognize that could conceivably be put on one of your library shelves. As a, so this is going to be the oldest bound book, not a scroll. Yes. Okay. Yes. Good, good answer. Number six, at 42 years of age, who is currently the oldest active player in the MLB, Major League Baseball? Caspian thinking. Look at him thinking. You see the little, the little bubble coming out of his head to like it's still in the thing. He's going, oh my god, I should know this. That's what he's thinking. I should know this. Oh my god, I better know this. Question number seven: What country has the oldest known cemetery in the world? As a known cemetery, not just places where dead people are buried and it's just there. Question eight, what is the oldest known musical instrument in the world? It is old, known. Question nine, number nine, number nine, number nine. What is recognized as the oldest language in the world? God, these are hard. I wrote these ages ago. I, I don't. I don't even remember these answers. Question ten. So you're all going to do awful. Just awful. Just. <sighs> Question ten. Founded in 1725. What country has the oldest restaurant in the world, according to the Guinness Book of World Records? Any questions? Susan, when you say founded in 1725, you're not talking about the country, you're talking about the restaurant, yes. right? Yes. And musical instrument, are you looking for a single artifact that is a musical instrument or what is believed to be like, like the violin was the first one that was invented? Um... Well, it is an instrument that you would recognize as a name of an instrument, like a guitar would be a guitar, but it does have a name to it. But if you don't get that, that's fine. 
Okay, so you're so looking, I'm looking for the, for the instrument, instrument, not necessarily what culture or tribe or country. Okay. Okay. And Thank for you, number, but a lot of help. And for number nine, are you looking for a dead language or just the, like, could it be a dead or current spoken language? You know, I don't know. I don't know <laughs> if this is dead okay. or not. Or I don't want to say if it's ah, dead. It's good not. to have Susan back it's, doing cats. It's, it's, <laughs> it's dead. Your kid's dead. Your language is dead. It's dead as a door now. Hi, Miles. It's dead, Jim. Miles is back. Hi, Miles. We're, we're early enough that we didn't put it. Oh, school's out. That's right. All right, Miles. You better be helping your dad on these. I have a I high your, schooler now. I love your NPR shirt, by the way. I just had to say. <laughs> NPR. Okay, so everybody ready? Let's go, let's go, go, let go, little darling. Go, go, go. <laughs> I didn't send you that. Susan, Susan, please. <laughs> Susan, please spare us. Thank you. Go, 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 little darling. Skitter, scatter, little darling. Go, 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 go. I'm dancing. Okay, let's see. Where are we going to go? Let's go, 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 little darling. Okay. Bye to the woods. Oh, got to wait for Susan to go. Thank you. Oh, sorry. All right. Anybody have any thoughts on number one, oldest woman to win an Oscar for best actress? Nope. Oh, I, I have a few ideas. I just don't know which one was older. But mm -hmm. I know both uh, Catherine Hepburn and Jessica Tandy won for Best Actress. But I don't know who was oldest. I, 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 I think it's one of them. I'm guessing it's Tandy. I had forgotten that. I was going to guess Hepburn. But I think Tandy was probably older. Okay. All right, yeah. number two, what U.S. state has the oldest zoo? I have a feeling Philadelphia Zoo is for one of these, but I don't know if it's still current, but I don't know the oldest zoo. I mean, Philadelphia Zoo still exists. Okay, I don't know. I, that might be the one for three then. Yeah, well... No, I don't think Philadelphia would have the oldest one in the world. Oh, is this in the world? I thought this was number two. two. Number two is U.S. Number three is in the world. Yeah. Okay. It goes in the career. Wow, what's silent? Mm -hmm. Yeah, we're. You guys went shh. over. Yeah, we don't tell. We don't want to tell you the answer, Susan. Well, they're right here in front of me. I'm reading them. Well, then why don't you give them to us? Yeah, yeah. Let's do that out loud. Uh, yeah, we're we're thinking about number three. I'm speaking the oldest language in the world. The oldest language in the world is Susan. <laughs> Susanisms. <laughs> yeah, uh, number three. Not a clue. I can, we can come back to it. Yeah. Yeah. Oldest active player, NFL football, right? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> That's how useful I am in this game. And not soccer. Yes. Yeah. No, I, I wouldn't have any clue. And it doesn't really help that much, but somebody said that this player just, just retired. retired. Yeah. Because I was going to, I was, thinking of Tom Brady, but I don't think he has announced his retirement. I don't think he's old. I, 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 wouldn't, I wouldn't know if he had. I've heard of him. He's a yeah. quarterback. Yep. Not Manning, right? Yeah, the Mannings have, have both been retired for a couple of years now. Yeah. yeah. Hmm. But is that Bible. The Bible was what? the first printed book. It was printed, yeah. but there were other. The Bible. Oh, what is the oldest book currently? The prescribed book, right. 
But yeah, she made really, it really clear that we're talking about something that was a bound book. Bound book. Right? Yeah, yeah, but, but they, they still bound in hand wrote yeah. books. But like, is the the Bible the oldest copy of the Bible the oldest known? Yeah, book? that's that's, that's the question. question. I'm guessing the answer she's looking for is the Gutenberg Bible. <laughs> she's <Yeah. laughs> listening in. Sorry, I, I I can't. I think you're right. I think you're right. You're what? That's About the Bible? Right. You want to go with the Gutenberg or Bible? No. We can come not, back to it. I don't have a yeah. name. Or the Canterbury Tales, or was that a school? No, that's 1300s. That's. And then, six, yeah. I'll come up with well, an how answer. old is the Gutenberg Bible? My the oldest known copy. But there's like the Anglo-Saxon Chronicles are much older than that. Right. And, uh, and is it bound? The book was put together probably. as the Bible in 400 AD. Okay. I mean, let's be, let's be but clear. we're talking about like this has to be a bound book that is still in the Well, the point. Right? First time someone someone actually bound a book. Right. Not the well, one, not extant, but historic. The Vienna Zoo? But like um, continuously, it was founded in the 1700s. During, during World War II, was was any zoo operating? Well, in I Europe? remember there was a there was a movie based on a story that I watched, and it was this couple that actually ran the zoo. It was like the zookeeper's wife. Yeah, right? yeah. But but the zoo wouldn't have been operating. That's what made Good me point. think Good I read point. the book. Well, yeah, hang on. But I mean, now you're nitpicking. You can say if it, it was if it was out of operation why during start the now? course of the war, that I don't think I that said, counts. Why stop now? You know? <laughs> the well, the question question says continuously operating and the zoo uh, was not operating during the war. Well, was any zoo operating during the war? In Maybe Europe. in China. I doubt That's a fair it. Statement. Now it's possible that the person that wrote that question hadn't really thought about that part yeah. of it. Let's think of that. It season. says continuously operating. No way. I would say if that was randomly put in. Oh, it does say continuously. People, China wasn't really super involved in World War II. They could have had zoos yeah. that were continually what operating. What about World War One? Oh, China sure was. Oh yeah, because the Japanese, the Japanese because were all then over China. it would China. have stopped operating in World War One, which would have been would which would trump it saying continuously operating. Wait, what about Trump? We <laughs> <laughs> don't use that word in this company. I was sick of the sign sign. <laughs> so Terry, what do you think of this crazy group? Peggy told you she's going to play trivia tonight, and you're like. I'm really? watching trivia. <laughs> well, she she said, "Come on, let's play." Well, we are. We're drinking wine and playing. Yeah, yeah that's good. Well, I'm glad you're here. Welcome. You're welcome to come back. Right, we we, we got it. We got to get moving here, guys. Because somebody's going to close the rooms in time this, this now. Oh no! Room. You so better you not. We're that. on three. I'm All right, evil let's, person. Let's, we have, we have a couple of choices, but let's skip ahead to oldest act, uh, active player in the NFL. Oh, boy. I don't watch you know, football. Football players here? Football players? Oh, my goodness. <laughs> don't rely on me, but I'm going to – I think Tom Brady has retired, but he no, – Tom Brady is still playing, but he's, he's not. He's not quite that old. He's not the oldest? There. He's getting up what there, but he's not that, other guy, that old. Peyton Manning? He's, he's not 47. He's like 42 or 3 yeah, or something. He's, what about Peyton middle. Manning? I don't even know what yeah. he is. Manning is retired. Right. Okay, he's done. Okay. He's done. It's got to be, doesn't it have to be a kicker? That's what I was thinking. They just have to be kickers if they're that fucking Good old. Point. Actually, if they can fucking play them. I don't know how, who, I don't know any kickers. I used to, there used to be one on the Raiders who was like that old. Sad. I'm waiting for somebody to walk in Robin. about the work. Miami Dolphins? Isabella, run down and go open up the door for Robin. <laughs> Huh? Go to Robin's house and open the door real quick. Where is she? Uh, hey, uh, 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 Peggy, right now, know. Know. <laughs> so funny, Peggy, Peggy, Peggy like used like to give George Blanda. Dark, yeah, no yeah. And, and he, he made it to about 47 and 
at least that. I think he may have been Currently. up to 50. You know, he was a quarterback yeah. when he was Susan, younger. Susan, I would, yeah, but, he, but the problem he, is Robin was like up the hill for me and it's going to push him out in line spot in our area. Otherwise, I would. I would go up to Robin, but it's dangerous. Oh, that's come on. You're worried a deer is going to come along or something? No, I'm afraid a mountain lion's going to come out. Oh, okay. That's true. You might no, hurt it. My friends in the next neighborhood over, one of them, a mountain lion was sitting on his car. Mm -hmm. Well, well, Deborah's got uh, bobcats. Yeah, so we uh, got right on. lines there, so bigger. We need extra time for this diversion. Hello, yes. hurry up, yeah. you guys. Yeah. Okay, okay, okay. We love you. Come along. Just ignore mm -hmm. me. What okay, is the oldest four? book in the world? Anybody? Gutenberg, Gutenberg Bible. Gutenberg yeah. Bible. Uh, 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 hang on. Uh, it was the uh, I, I'm thinking. Uh, I was thinking of the Quran. It's the Gutenberg Bible. No, 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 no. That's that's that's. They're not talking about like let's say book. There were books that were handmade before the Gutenberg Bible. So exactly. you the, Good, the Gutenberg Bible was made on a printing press. Yeah, the, the old printing was, was the first printed yeah. book, but, not but there were many, many book. thousands of books before that. Right. Yeah. So, so it has to be the a... oldest book. It doesn't. And there's a great PBS PBS uh, documentary. I think it's called the 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 history of print or something like that. And it mm -hmm. basically it covers history, and it's it's absolutely fascinating. And they they, wow. they talk about that, but. Hmm. So I think but we're I, talking about bound book as opposed to papyrus I, I'm scroll. I'm thinking it might be the Quran. Objection. But which which one? I mean, it's <laughs> the first edition. <laughs> <laughs> I, I think Bible is too obvious. <laughs> or there's this other one called hmm. um, the the Canterbury Tales. No, it's called like the that. Epic of uh, Gilgamesh. Gilgamesh. Yeah, because yeah. that was like twenty one hundred BC. Well, but that you know that that's not that's a story or a written a written true. story, but it's not necessarily a bound book. So Norse. Book. Well, there's that, and then there's wasn't the other one? It was like the Dead Sea Scrolls or something like that. But that's a but those scroll. are scrolls. scrolls. They're not books. Scrolls, they're, not, they're not books. Not, and and I think those were like a hoax or something. Anyway. Yeah. What? Can we can this we just scroll Fran down as a placeholder? No, okay, no, that's that's, that real, down, that's, that's real. real stuff. That's okay. real stuff. That's real stuff. Okay, then what are we gonna put on the, the okay? We don't have an answer for four. Can we can... <laughs> well, that was oh great. Thanks, Susan. <laughs> <laughs> I wouldn't consider the bog because that would be um, that was ritual, ritual yeah. uh, sacrifice. Like right, the bog right, man, yeah. the bo Pete, yeah. Pete, Pete, Pete Marsh. That's right, the bog man, Pete Marsh. Yeah, I think he's yeah. Don't know. Okay, well let's go to the next. Put a placeholder. Yeah. Yeah. So for an instrument, I would guess. I, I would guess, guess a drum. <laughs> I would guess a drum. The thing is, I don't know how well that would survive because they were. Country with. That, that, like if it's made from like an animal hide or something that it would have not survived. <laughs> you guys are Was considering when we were thinking about the question earlier. But... Sure, why not? I didn't want to say it and be wrong, but. Well, I thought about China, but I kind of feel like that's something that would have got, would have been shut down at some point during, say, the Cultural Revolution. Whereas yeah. I don't yeah. think India has yeah. had that kind of political upheaval mm. that would cause all the cultural centers to just be shut down like that. I could be wrong. Yeah, completely right. changed over. Yeah. So or do we like India from over there? I guess so, yeah. Sure. And number five. I still think it's going to be a specific book like the one you mentioned or the Book of Kells. Mm -hmm. Could be wrong, but I'm just trying to think of spe like specific manuscripts that we've, you know, we've all seen very, very old manuscripts. 
Mm, I'm trying to think of any of them might actually constitute a book. Yeah. Well, it's not going to be too far back because that kind of binding has not been around all that long, respectively. Not defined to too long. far back. Mm -hmm. Yeah, less than a million years. Yeah, no, that's valid. Well, they can't be older than six thousand and six years old, right? <laughs> it was a Tuesday they created the Earth. Hi, Julie. Hi. October 23rd, 4004 BC. <laughs> it was a Tuesday, right? I don't I don't know. But it was 9 a.m. Yeah, that's true. Yeah, I, nine nine ish, <laughs> right? And when was uh, the next Easter following that? <laughs> <laughs> Good luck, dude. Uh so what are the candidates for five that we we should write down the candidates and the, the book of Kells. It's a good one. Which is an examination of, I think, the Gospels. Mm -hmm. And what else? Um, the Domesday book, if it still exists. That would have been about written in about 1086. Hmm. Uh, did we uh, have we eliminated Beowulf? We have not. No, it could be Beowulf. It could be. I just it it mm. feels too generic. Like I don't. Some specific. Concept. There's something sticking right. out in my head about Beowulf, particularly. Yeah, because then it's you know, is there a particular? print of Beowulf that we're talking yeah, about. Like, or... like it's not even a particular print. It's what? like it was the first one transcribed to something. And it was done by hand. So like this is not a printing press thing, but it was like it was put together in a form where it could then yeah. like it exists somewhere in the world today. This copy. Yes. It's in an old language, right? That you can't read modern. Yeah. You can pick it up. Well, you can't pick it up, but somebody could pick it up. I'm not allowed. Yeah. They usually require like gloves and usually some kind of degree in the thing in order to pick it up. But that's oppressing my freedoms. <laughs> that's okay. <laughs> Man. <laughs> <sighs> The, the, this, store, this practice of needing gloves, I think they stopped doing that. They found that it didn't help and it may actually harm them. I, I had to use gloves when I looked at Darwin's uh, letters in the library at my university there. And they, at that time, they said, you have to wear these gloves. So I wore them and looked at them. But now I read that they've stopped doing that. That's weird. I'm worried about the oils in the hands. Apparently say. not. Apparently not. Yeah. They may have been worried about the oils in the hands causing yellowing, but it turns out yellowing is actually just caused by the paper aging itself and being exposed to sunlight. So as long as you keep the book in the right place, the oils from hands really don't matter. We have a strong feeling for Beowulf. I think Beowulf is now. So we should list as many as we can think of. And if any of them were right, we should claim the point. There you go. I like it. <laughs> I heard that. No, you didn't Susan, hear anything, Susan. Susan, I wouldn't have said it if you weren't there. <laughs> and, and we're not I was, talking. I was just joking. And, and you know that because I know we're being recorded. Uh -huh. <laughs> Are we talking that's... like mass? The oldest mass produced book? Because that's another thing. It's like, are we no, talking I, about a very unique it, book or? I think it's a specific book that you could physically hold. Yeah, it's a singular book, I think. Yes. Because like, you know, prior to the printing press, there are so many hand illustrated versions of the Bible that exist, meticulously transcribed by monks that like, you know, with aluminum. <laughs> When she got the Academy Award. <laughs> I'm going to make it. Off. 
We're gonna we're gonna watch Drive and Miss Daisy while I make fried green tomatoes. And you know what? <laughs> and salmon. And you know what instrument she was playing? A flute. <laughs> she was playing the drum. And, and if you're ready for the argument that's coming, so you can be get your armor ready in your argument. Yeah. Uh, the big argument about the cemetery is going to be the definition of the cemetery. <laughs> I've got an, I, know, I know there's another room that's going to argue. If you have not learned a totally anything, different question. If you have not learned anything in these last couple, last year, <laughs> that we need specific <laughs> definitions of your question. Karen, you once, when I was in the team with you some months ago, you said the perfect thing. The only way to avoid these is to say, according to this source, this is the case. And then you fight. And I and I, I did that once. And when they found out that I was wrong, they had what you said. This is the source she used. Right? <laughs> That's the only way to do it. <laughs> it's very, very helpful. We forget. I, I it how's the argument? I played enough trivia with this group that we'll just argue sources at that. Yeah, point. I, I, well, yeah we'll that's argue. why I have some mean people to put people on mute. <laughs> Karen, I just sent you a message. And don't yeah. let me forget I got to get that other I'm message. I'm responding. Yeah. Okay. How are you guys doing on your answers? We're done. We're done. Oh, okay. You just socialize. Uh, and while Karen, while Susan is still here, I want Paula, who's from South America, her opinion about what a Caribbean place. <laughs> <laughs> what a Caribbean what? A, a, what is a Caribbean country? I will would, defend. Would Guiana count as a Caribbean country? With Guiana? Yeah. No. It is, I found the Wikipedia. <laughs> no, Guiana is in South America. It's part of the South Confederation America. of Caribbean countries. Not That's what she was trying to say. It's in it's, I would say it's South America, it's not the Caribbean. Thank you. You made my argument. I appreciate it. Oh, good. <laughs> question was not, are they part of this organization? The question was Hush before I'm back to the Oh, okay. So what was the question exactly? The question was about which Caribbean country and one of the answers was Guiana. And some of us were not happy about that. I think that that's not a Caribbean country. <laughs> okay, I see. Yeah. No, I wouldn't consider it a Caribbean country. Yes, I made Which that. Which one? Did you make that? Yes. That's very cool. My baby Yoda. My Grogu. Oh, that's so cute. He's got a little poo. He's so cute. Oh, here, here, just, I mean, I don't want to show you up, but I knit myself a gator. Uh, oh, <laughs> this, was, this was my first ever crochet project after I made him a scarf. Like, I literally learned how to crochet so I can make Grogu. Oh, oh, yeah, and he's got, he's got a little Grogu booty right there. Oh, yeah, you <laughs> to oh this is cute. Crafty and Cole taught me, and I got the pattern like five minutes before Disney made her take it down in 2019. Nice. So. I knit I, I knit myself a pair of socks, which is what I set out to do, and then I just quit knitting. I'm like, nah, I'm good. <laughs> I'm, yeah, I've sort of stopped a little bit, but my coworker, she saw the Mandalorian and she was like, Yeah, you made one of those, make me one. <laughs> so. uh, yeah, sure, why not? <laughs> well, I made my nephew one for his birthday, and I made a little bone broth cup and a little bassinet for him and everything. And of course, like he's 11 now and he doesn't totally appreciate all the hard work. I, speaking of all the hard work, that when I knit my socks, go to Etsy and look at what a knit pair of socks cost. And they're sold for so much cheaper than like my wood turn. Like here, okay, for instance, there's like a wood turn piggy bank that I made, right? Piggy oh, bank cool. and a little cork nose. Oh, your clay pig. Is it a clay pig? Pig is a pig. What is this? Is it clay pigeon? What do we call no, it? It's, 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 it's wood. Segmented. It's a segmented wood turned pig. It's got a little maple butt. It's got little legs. And I would charge so much more for this than a pair of socks goes for on Etsy. But I just, well, I'm in the right group because women make knitting. It's cheaper. It's bullshit. So anyway, here's to you, ladies. <laughs> I love the mindset. 
Well, no, the problem I have is everyone asks me, oh, like you can, like I've had people, they've seen, I just started taking up sewing during the pandemic and I'm trying to learn how to quilt. It's like, I have all these old t-shirts. It's like, I'm a novice. You right. don't want me cutting up all of the stuff that you find precious That's, and fucking it up. Right. This is why I started to make Virginia, uh, my wife, because my wife played soccer like all through and then she played in college and she has all these shirts. And so I like, I cut them up and I put the um, stuff on the back and then it came to the quilting time and I'm like, oh, I'm just going to screw this up. So she just has a really nice flag of all of her soccer shirts. <laughs> It's great. Just don't look at the back. Right. Yeah. Don't look at the back. There's a lot of seams. That's okay. Wall hanging. It could be a wall hanging. Mm -hmm. But you still have to put the backing and the batting and the binding on it. Yeah. And I, I like, I like ironing the binding. That's, like That's my fun. Part. That's fun. I, because I learned to sew in the Marines, I like the ironing part and I like the, like sewing the straight lines part. Because you but, weren't allowed to not like it. Right. <laughs> You know, you're the only, only the third guy that I've ever heard say they liked ironing. I think some things are that are weird tasks. Like I like washing dishes. I like folding laundry. Oh my god! I like, like pulling weeds. weeds. I, I like pulling weeds. I like pulling weeds. I like mowing the lawn. I like mowing. I like mowing I like the lawn. Weed whacking. I hate folding laundry. Fold laundry. I don't mind. I don't mind. Oh, I love that. But I don't like folding laundry. No. He folds the laundry. I mow the yard. That's the yeah, third. Miles said it the way I, Miles and I have the same feeling. I don't like mowing, but I like how it looks when I'm done. Oh, <laughs> I like, there's something therapeutic about mowing it. I don't know. Yeah. But we have small lawns over here, not like in Kansas. Mm -mm. Yeah. I have about an acre. Yeah, yeah see, that's totally we got it. We got a quarter of an acre. The people yeah. that, that live on places where they have really huge grassy areas, I wouldn't even call them lawns. They're like fields. Right. Like, I think they like mowing because they get on a tractor and they can spend the whole day. Nobody talks to them. Nobody up. They can listen to their music or think listen about my whatever book. they want. Yep. It's like it's basically like noise canceling headphones. My right. coworker, they have a farm, and today it rained really bad, and she was very upset that after she was done with work, she couldn't go mow the field. <laughs> All right, I'm going to call everybody back because I think everybody's just enjoying the conversation. Yeah. Brian, I want to ask you about your socks, though. Were they comfortable? Yeah, they're great. They're great. Oh, the Karen, I put, I put a longer uh, thing in the chat if you saw it. I'm sure they would be completely uncomfortable. No, I use like Sorry. a... Oh, um, I, I, velvet. Did you see it? Yeah. Moreno. I, used kind of, I didn't use like straight up um, wool About or anything. My neighbor? I used like a... It's in the chat. I don't even know what the yarn was, but it, it was. it's like nice. They're soft. They didn't shrink as much as I wanted them to, wanted them to but yeah, they're fine. What did you make them with? Wait, what do you mean? What what material? What uh, what fabric? What, uh, I'm not sure. It was like a it was like a cotton poly blend. Oh okay. And yeah. how what size? I mean, what size of the? Recognize that were in the movie. They got like real dancers. They got like a fantastic choreographer. It was it was beautiful. And it's the director is the same guy who directed Crazy Rich Asians. No, oh, I saw that. I love that movie. Number, well, I can't remember. You'd have to the Beatles. Oh, so, yeah. no, they're an eight. All right, y'all. This mystery Long person gone. keeps appearing behind Brian and disappearing. <laughs> no, there is <laughs> a ghost. It's somebody from NPR. Uh, All right. If you think it's unsettling on the call, you should try being. <laughs> 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 okay, y'all, 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 y'all. I. Al. I hope you guys will not be arguing with me about these. Because <laughs> the answer, hope, hope, hope the answer is what I have written on my spreadsheet. Brings eternal. <laughs> right? The answer is what's on my spreadsheet? Yes, right? Susan. So you can argue, but you want to leave. Oh, we person. can argue. <laughs> I know, but we have mute. Who's muting Kelly and Isabella? Okay, gotcha. All right, so the first question is, it is Jessica Tandy for Driving Miss Daisy. She was 80 years old. All right. Yay, team. The second question, what U.S. state has the oldest zoo? It is Philadelphia, PA. Yes. In the United States, the oldest yes. United States. This one, really interesting. 
What country has the oldest continually operating zoo in the world? It is Austria. Oh. Told you. I <laughs> failed us. Told you. I heard a lot for China, and then I guess they managed World War II. People just, just. We were one country over. I think it should count. Mm -hmm. <laughs> okay, the current minus oldest, one country. The oldest active player in the NFL is Adam V I N A T I E R. I'll put it in the chat. Vinatieri. Vinatieri. Never heard of him. Pretty, pretty sad that this is claim to fame here on our trivia game. It's not his claim to fame. Well, it is in our trivia game. And the next answer is the Gutenberg Bible. Oh, oh told you. People. Uh, Fine really? book. That's not no, possible. that's the that's no, the oldest possible. printed. It's, no. it's the oldest that, book that came possible. from a printing that's press. That's not the oldest book. Who's playing music? That's no, that's not book. true. Somebody the playing first music? book that came from a printing press. That's what I thought. Yeah. Yeah, there are far there, because there are far older illuminated manuscripts of the Bible, and of they're course. not the oldest. Yeah. Right. Somebody okay. has. Question number six, at 42 years of age. <laughs> anyway, that Fernando answer's wrong for number five. Question six is Fernando Rod. Did anybody put the Gutenberg Bible? No. no I was going to do it. Obviously that. not. Yes, <laughs> yes, we put Bible. We put that. We knew the that Bible, we put the, the Bible. The Bible's yeah. fine. Yeah. No. No. Oh, no. Fernando Rodney hasn't played Let's in two begin, years. Susan. Well, we when did. I wrote this question, he was yeah. it. <laughs> Susan, let me just take this game two years ago. Susan, Susan, yeah. um, the Gutenberg yes. Bible was was printed in something like 16 something. The Book of Kells in in oh, in but, Ireland it oh, dates back yeah. to 800 AD. Yeah, <laughs> oh, exactly. What is that music? Yeah. Somebody oh. look at the Gutenberg Bible and tell me what you said. What I'm that? sorry, it's my husband who's playing guitar, and if I mute myself, okay. you can hear him. So I'm trying to oh, mute him. Oh. You, you can just mute. <laughs> okay, somebody look it up. Yeah. Hurry, somebody look it up. Okay, the next one. What country has the oldest known cemetery in the world? Don't argue. Wait, 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 wait. What was six? Wait, wait. I didn't hear Morocco. six. I put it in the chat. Fernando Rodgers. created in 880. Guy not playing baseball is the oldest active playing baseball player. What? <laughs> indeed. indeed. Excuse me, who? Not Fernando the right Rodney? Rodney? Fernando Rodney is also 44 years old. He was 42 when he was last active, which was two uh, years ago. Right. Oldest and currently Bart been active since Oldest him. active player, Albert Pujol. Yep, that's what we Albert. that's what we picked too, Carl. Albert. Of course. It's What's Irvin. Correct anyway. answer. Irvin Pujol. It's Irvin Santana. Yeah, that's a Pujol. great name. Irvin. Yeah. Albert. Oh Albert. Albert. What's, what's the correct answer? Do you want to Albert Pujol. Albert who? Pujols. P U J O L S. Jamie yeah, just put it in the chat. Okay, so that is the correct answer. Thank you. Pujolis. Pujolis. <laughs> That's even better. <laughs> Pujolis. Pujol. 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 That's funnier than Pujols. Pujols. Pujolis. Pujolis. Albert Pujolis. And he's actually probably older than uh, his yeah. Major League Baseball stats say he is. Yeah. Un also, I think Robin got drowned out when she pointed out that there is a book that way predates the Gutenberg Bible. Yeah, somebody just to look that up. The Book of Kells. It's from the year 800. It's going to predate the Gutenberg Bible. And I don't think that's even the oldest book. The I don't think the Book of Kells is the oldest book. Yeah, I think everybody all. needs to get a point on that because Susan screwed that one up. We need we and, I, hey, and, I, and I just put a link into a, uh, a site called oldest.org that uh -huh. has a list of the oldest zoos in the U.S. And the Central Park Zoo is uh, a couple of decades older than the Philadelphia Zoo. Oh, my God. <laughs> <laughs> it's going to be impossible to score this one. Everybody gets a point. <laughs> Everybody gets all 10 around. for the round. <laughs> Welcome back to doing the category, Susan. Fans all around. I didn't, it, it wouldn't surprise me. Okay, so the next one is uh, the country <sighs> has the oldest cemetery. Morocco. It is in Morocco. <sighs> is in My the friend chat. went there on a field trip. There you go, Morocco. She's exactly right. 
My friend went there on a field trip. There you go. See, see, nobody's arguing with me. The next one is the answer is a flute. It came Yay. from Neanderthals. I put that one down. Neanderthals. And the oldest recognized, what is recognized as the oldest language in the world? It is. I Tamil? said that and my group argued with me. Tamil? Yes. Tamil. <laughs> they said, no, it's Sanskrit. It's Tamil. <laughs> It's still wait a minute. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Um, it sounds like the question was, what is the oldest language in the world that is still extant? And that is not no, necessarily what is Robin. I asked that question and she didn't answer it. What is That's recognized the entire as the state oldest of language in the world? The, is currently Thank you, Mana. Still spoken or no, no, is still spoken or, and used and written. I here is, here is the question as it appeared in your chat. Okay. Uh, what by the way, is I, recognized I, I, as the oldest language in the world? And in my fact, language is Tamil and it's actually still spoken. I'm a Tamil. I should know. <laughs> there are millions of millions of people who speak Tamil. I, I was just telling my group, I got a video just last week by claiming that Tamil was the oldest language in the book, uh, in the world. But it was, there's a lot of Tamil chauvinism. Uh, so even though I'm a Tamil, I sort of discounted it. And now I'm regretting that. I didn't, <laughs> <laughs> I didn't say still spoken. I just but but spoken. are there any other languages before Tamil came into being, which are extinct it. languages? No. I thought it's recognized as you Probably not with a name. It's just like Proto-European and Proto-Indo-European yeah. and stuff I, like I, that, I, but I, not, I, not as a known I, uh, theoretical. And it looks like I'll while Tamil is claimed to be the oldest, that it like that essentially everything in the top category of like three or four oldest languages all dates back about 5,000 years. And there's not a, enough to really say all for right. sure that one of them yeah. reigns as the oldest. That like it's- this is And which are they? The uh, so Tamil, Sanskrit, um, and- what is well, the usual suspects? Hebrew, Basque. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hebrew. Yeah. Uh, no, Hebrew is only 3,000 years old in its oh. current iteration. Uh, Egyptian is 5,000 oh. years old. That makes sense. Egyptian, Tamil, Sanskrit are the, are the three. It says so, what is the most recognized, and so that's Tamil. Well, we oh. have yeah. Sanskrit, it's, so. It's, yeah, San, it says Sanskrit. Well, actually, it doesn't say most, Susan. It says what is recognized, and yeah, apparently is recognized? There, is not, there is not one answer, is what I'm hearing from Jeff. <laughs> We don't know anything possible. I can't wait till you guys start doing your categories. Welcome back, right Susan. Uh, <laughs> you don't know how much. That's I'm why it be. takes us three to I'm four hours to write a category. So much crap. You're not going to be able to stand it. So that's why it takes 10. us three hours to write a category. We, we yeah. check our facts. Number ten. Three hours. Number ten. Numero numero diez. The accuracy. The answer is Madrid, Spain. Yes. Got yeah. one more. Hey. España. My dad, my, my dad ate there and he said it was like the best food he's ever had. <laughs> well, they've been good job, Leonard. For a long the cheese time. and the wine they that's have. supposed to be really good. All right. So what are we gonna do about these questions that you guys were having? We'll get a 10. Let's just do a 10 round. That's all. <laughs> but then that means nobody's gonna change their score. Well, that's fine with me. No, no, that's not good. <laughs> so we're gonna go with um should we so should we say Tamil and Sanskrit or what? Yeah, yeah. I guess, I guess sure. any of the ones Jeffrey read because it's yeah. there, it says no agreement. But he said Hebrew was yeah. three thousand years. No, not Hebrew. No, there's another one. No, Egyptian, Egyptian, Tamil, Egyptian, Tamil, Sanskrit. Egyptian, Tamil, Sanskrit. Okay, but the, the Gutenberg Bible, the Gutenberg Bible cannot be the right answer. No, yeah, so that's I, I, so I absolutely no. No, no, no. I also did, did a Let quick, everybody did a have number five. Let everybody gets a five. Number five. And, and, and so did, so did we just, make a change? Just for reference, from what I could find corroborated, the Nag Hammadi Library is the oldest known surviving set of books, and uh, it dates back 1600 years. Yes, so does the Codex Sinaiticus. But that set of books. So what are we well, doing about yeah. the oldest zoo in the United States? Cincinnati. Do we have confirmation I that think, it was New York? I, I've heard it. I've heard it. Take a look at the uh, Pennsylvania and it was the Philadelphia Zoo. So uh, maybe if, if if you had Pennsylvania or New York, maybe just give the point. 
problem I'm is sorry, I'm like sorry most that. disease, it's all Both. based on the definition. Cincinnati yeah. is the oldest modern zoo. The others are are menageries, right? But they call themselves a zoo, so it's that's the problem here. Yeah. Mm. Well, it says continuously operating. No, it doesn't. Although, like the Philadelphia and New York zoos all closed during the pandemic. But in Florida and Texas, they didn't. So Actually, it, does, it does not say continuously <laughs> operating. No, it does not say continuously no. operating. The other one, the, the what? Uh, U.S. state has the oldest zoo is the question. Right. right. Yeah. Third one I, has I show operating. Central Park Zoo is ten open ten years for, prior to the Philadelphia Zoo. Miles, yeah. what do you think? Let's let open. Miles decide. Miles, you know, what do you think about the zoo? Okay. He thinks it's the world <laughs> famous Topeka Zoo. Here's the funniest thing. Zoo. What I'm reading is that the Philadelphia Zoo is the oldest founded zoo, but it's but it actually opened 15 years late because of the American Civil War. It was delayed by 15 years, and so that it put like, its opening. It sounds after like Philadelphia is the answer, right? How the about we Pennsylvania, the, the U.S. for state? Yeah, yeah. Right, but well, how about we take both? The state of Philadelphia. So why should we the say the state of Pennsylvania? Right. No. Well, why should <laughs> no. we say? So either and, one is fine. Like, the oldest opening zoo is Central Park Zoo. The oldest founded zoo is Philadelphia. How about both Congress? Been continually oh, operating. Pennsylvania but if it's York. continually operating, then no, it's not be, continually operating. But it's still New like York. Yeah. Then okay, it's Central the question, Park. The question is. What U.S. state has the oldest zoo? Mm -hmm. Oldest, not doesn't matter when oh, it will happen. Oh, no, just oldest. oldest zoo, yeah. So it should be PA, right? Pennsylvania, because yep. that's what we put. Yeah. That's what we put. <laughs> I, 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 I would be consider either answer acceptable. Yeah, opinion, but from what I'm reading. Yeah. You and our second choice either. was New York, so we should did, get. Did anybody? Did, did anybody else put? Did anybody put New York? New York or PA? Yeah, we did. You can get okay. a point for those two. Okay, I think okay, we got all the good. arguments out of you guys. Are you all worn out now? Yes. Okay. <laughs> that's close. This doesn't happen when Rob and I and that's right. Kyle <laughs> do questions. Yeah, we all get zero. <laughs> <laughs> it doesn't happen when I do them because you guys all get 10. Uh, <laughs> um, all right, so let's see. Zombie. What was number one? I, I missed it. Jessica, Jessica Tandy. Tandy. Oh, okay, good. Tandy, yeah. Did we say okay. we were taking Sanskrit as a possible answer yes. for Sanskrit, nine? Sanskrit, uh, Tamil, or Egyptian? Sanskrit, not Sanskrit. What is it? <laughs> There's no P in Sanskrit. No. It is if I say it, right? Not a font. There's no R in Washington. What's the difference? Anglified. <laughs> There's no R in Washington either. No, so come on. It should be a song, shouldn't it? There's mm. no R in Washington. <laughs> Unless, <laughs> Unless you ask Susan. <laughs> I think that should There's be no the R in China either. intro uh, that, to the That'll be the next song. musical. It, it's called Trivia the Musical. <laughs> Are we still going to Okay, <laughs> zombie gracklins. We're what finally you got? enough to bite alcohol. Four. <coughs> How many points? Four. 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 <laughs> okay, so then let's go to anomalous enemy and enemies. Seven. Correct. Ooh. All right. We need to fight Forest for those points. Moon moving unit. Don't speak uh -huh. about one. Service moon I moon think moon. we're seven. Am I right? That's I think good. we're six. I think so. Yeah, it, we it's hard seven. to keep track, but we got, I got Tan seven. We got Tandy. We got Pennsylvania. We we got a freebie for the oldest book. We got Morocco. Oh, we got okay. flute. We got. Sanskrit and we got Spain. That's seven. I got seven. seven. The oldest <laughs> freebie. Three. Okay, into the heights of the woods. Four. Baseball. And Team Lothium. I believe six. Six. Football. Ooh, six. Okay, this is really close, you guys. Yeah, oh it was the first non eight now, for your team. Actually, yeah, but yeah. Not, not as bad as I thought it was going to be. There you are. 
26, 27, 21, 29, and 30. Ooh. Oh, so anyone, there's, there's a lot of choice on this last one. This is a big deal, the anniversary one. you got to get this. So the bonus is going to be. I have to take a one minute break. I'll catch up. Hurry up. All right. So see I'm, the picture we, behind me? You see the yeah. picture behind me? That's, no. that's the building that houses Plymouth Rock. Yeah. That's, a, that's not a building, that's a flag. There's a building it around it? Underneath it, there's a building, like a, mus a mausoleum type anything. of thing. They Open built it, a building around a rock. Yes, they did. They put the rock in the building. Wow, okay. They can charge people to come see it. It's on the <laughs> ground, and then they have like a, a, a like a jail cell that opens towards the ocean. And then above it, like 10 feet above it, you walk around and college students will tell you about the history of it for tips. It's is it actually, rock. is it the actually, did they just find some rock and say, we'll call it the Plymouth Rock? Or Probably. is it really the rock? Probably because they actually landed they bring it in any town first. Rock to Plymouth how, could they, the how could they possibly know? Right. They landed in, in Providence Town first. So it wasn't the first place they landed. I mean, because I've been, I have seen the burning bush that that, that <laughs> Moses saw. I in Israel, it had a sign Did you smoke above it? it that said it was smoking it. I bet. So yeah, the, 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 if they can find the burning bush, they can find the rock. <laughs> and I'm sure it's just as valid. Oh yeah, uh, yeah. Yes, it has the same like it's, it's a big tourist trap. The same flame still going. It's still yeah. moving. All right, so here we go. Thousand years later. Category. I used Wikipedia. No kidding. Oh no. Did so, you verify the sources of Wikipedia? I yeah. used Did Wikipedia. Did you triple check, Susan? It's 1,200 times checked. All right. I had you Hamilton. So. Hamilton check, check. I don't trust Hamilton. <laughs> he scratched me. <laughs> oh, right. dude. I have it on my hand. It's right here. He scratched me. That's from That's the right. live oh. Hey, Susan, I, I, I was telling you the truth about Hamilton. Nah, Isabella, he thought you were taking you to his death. Probably. <laughs> I like the I like the cream colored tick better. She's not a cream colored tick. Anyway, yeah. can I get to the No, no, no. She just looks like a cream colored you can, tick. You can I don't know. Can you? Point, you try? Yeah, the bluest eye. Give me give me your best shot, Susan. All right. Just let's so, do it, Susan. So the bonus is. I want you guys to tell me the world's biggest countries by area, and we're talking countries only. So, well, the top ten. The top ten. All right. Biggest countries. Countries. So, what are the top ten biggest countries by area? And don't count no little islands out there or anything like that. Uh, it doesn't matter the order. Or just nope. the top ten. Doesn't matter. So, all right, last chance. Bye. 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 Go. Just go. Oh. Go. So go. 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 India, yep. ten largest countries in the world by area. Brazil, yes. Mm -hmm. I would think that Chad is also there. I don't think Chad's that large. Brazil, Brazil, yes. Um, the Democratic Republic of the Congo might be. Yeah. Certainly going to be something in Africa. Um, anything else in South America besides Brazil? Argentina would be my next guess. Or yeah. Bolivia? I think Argentina is bigger. Yeah, because it's the, almost the whole length, isn't it? Yeah. Um, Chile is Chile is also almost the whole length, but it's thin. But it's very narrow. Yes. Um, Algeria. 
Okay. Yeah, Algeria sounds good. All the, a lot of those countries along that northern, north, north of the Sahara are pretty big. Yeah. Well, Morocco and Tunisia aren't. Libya, uh, Tunisia, Libya is big, and I'm still thinking of Chad. As a yeah, country. Chad is very big. It is quite large, but I'm pretty, it's not as large as Algeria. I'm certain of that. Well, it's part of Den. It's part yeah. of a uh, Denmark. Um, South America. We've got Brazil and probably Argentina. Um, Are there countries? Africa. Africa is quite divided up. Yeah. South Africa. No. Probably the biggest it's of them, but I yeah, I still don't think it. Would well, I think um, I think. I think there are bigger countries in South Africa, and in yeah. Africa, but, but, but yeah. Yeah, yeah. But in Northern, things like Algeria. Yeah, and, yeah, they're quite big, yeah. Are there any countries with like tons and tons of islands that would make it bigger than it would initially? Uh, no. But see, like, have you ever seen, have you ever seen one of the maps and projections where they put like India and China and they put like USA, everything inside Africa. Brazil inside the continent. Yep, I just yeah. saw that today. Yeah. I, so yeah, it could be Libya or Algeria or this small there. one, and there's a large one. Um, it is um, really um, big. Yeah. What's that other country that's right next to Egypt? Uh, well, it goes Sudan. Egypt. Uh, Sudan. Yeah. Sudan. Mm -hmm. Sudan. Yeah, Sudan's yeah. actually huge. Yeah, and there's there's yeah. even more. Yeah, south but now it's it's there. been hasn't it been cut up into South Sudan? Wait, isn't Sudan like to the left and down? No, Sudan. Uh, Sudan, Sudan is, is closer. Is, Sudan's closer to the um. It's past to, Egypt. To, to the the south. To the, what is the what is what is where did the ever given? Suez Canal. Suez Canal. So like Suez Sudan Canal. is right at the bottom because it's the Sudanese pirates. Yeah, but now it, it was, yeah. there's South Sudan. Yeah, you're too. right. I don't Paul know is right, though. It, Sudan is two it up. It's okay. Sudan and South Sudan or something like that. Yeah. I think, yeah. I think the last two are probably going to be. Oh, no, I think the last two are going to be. No, I think the last two are going to be an African country in Saudi Arabia. Congo. Okay. I don't know if it's that large. What about Zimbabwe? But Zimbabwe is big. Take out land and Saudi Arabia because the, these are larger in Africa. Wait, say that again, Karen. Yeah, take out Saudi Arabia and Greenland because these these are larger in Africa. Yeah, Greenland is, isn't it that it's not that big. It's just big in the projections, but it's bigger it's not, in the projection. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, Greenland's actually quite small. Greenland yeah, it looks big, but it's not big. So it's. It, Mozambique, isn't that huge? I thought that was a city. Yeah, I want to go to Mozambique, though. I thought it was a city, not a country. Mozambique? No, that's a country. Oh, it is? And it's in Africa, and, and I, I, I'm pretty sure that the largest country in Africa, area-wise, is Algeria. Right. <laughs> Africa's so big, there could be more than one African country that makes the top ten list. Look around me, that, that's a good what I see. It seems as if this country has lost its will to live. Economy is lousy. We barely have an army, but we can still stand proudly because Canada's really big. We're the second largest country on this planet. Earth. That's funny. What? Okay. That's awesome. Thank you. I, I, th I think Rhode yeah, Island is definitely the biggest stuff. country in the world for sure. <laughs> I don't think Kazakhstan should be on the list. Says I think Mozambique is bigger than Kazakhstan. Atlantis. <laughs> <laughs> All right, we'll take out Kazakhstan. <laughs> Have we lost Wilma? No, what about I think Saudi Arabia is bigger than Kazakhstan? Oh, good point. 
Good point. Saudi Arabia is pretty big. It is well, big. yeah, it's a lot of acreage. A lot of sand, man. <laughs> is, it, is it bigger than Mexico? No, no. But it... I bet Saudi Arabia is two-thirds the size of Mexico. I'm so just which guessing. of these do you think needs to go? Uzbekistan, Argentina? Uzbekistan. Uzbekistan. How many do we need? I think to Argentina is bigger than ours. All right. One, two, three. So let's see. So it's really the last one we need of the last four. Which one is the best? Mm -hmm. Well, I think I we're like sure. Mexico. I think we're sure whether or not we're right. I don't know, but we're sure of seven. Right. Yeah. I like the next two as well. I'm not sure about the last, very last one, which one it should be between Saudi Arabia, Ukraine, Greenland, and Mexico. I don't think Mexico is bigger than Greenland. I would tend to agree. Yeah, it's probably something in Africa. Greenland. The biggest countries in the world. I just don't have good ideas of the various sizes of the African nations to figure out what like I don't need I couldn't even say off the top of my head what the largest nation on the continent of Africa is. Maybe Morocco. <sighs> I wonder how much how much that cemetery takes up. Uh, I'm really surprised that, that uh, we seem to have a different opinion of Saudi Arabia. I mean, I remember like picture of the globe. I guess it's one of the views from the astronauts coming back to Earth, and it's in the middle of the the view, and it seems huge. It takes so, up the whole Arabia. So it could be nine Earth. or ten then. So you know, the other question I have is. Just out of curiosity, are we talking about the country, including all of its possessions, anywhere not contiguous with it? Yes, yeah, Susan. Another not totally clear. I already said question. don't don't include islands and stuff. Islands and stuff. So, in other words, if 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 a nation owned a big giant island, we don't care about that island. It doesn't count. I don't think so. Total. You don't think so. Okay, thanks for like, <laughs> I didn't like if the USA was in doubt, would they get why? I'm okay with that list the way you see it now, Bob. Saudi Arabia number 10, that's fine. Uh, Ukraine, yeah, like Susan, uh, Mexico. Susan, Susan if, if if the United States still had uh let's see, Alaska as a possession, but not that. it wasn't it was a territory or possession or whatever it was called, but it wasn't yeah, a state yet. Would that not count? Would Alaska not count in the, in the square footage of the United States? Um, I don't think it's it's part of the question because the United it's, States, just the contiguous United States, is pretty damn big. Yeah, but yeah, I, I mean, Alaska's I part of the USA, USA, so that's. I'm giving a hypothetical. Like, you have yeah. to look at the Wikipedia page when we're all done. All right, fine. And it will tell you how it measures it. All right, so I guess we're just taking this, this list the way Those it is. Top 10. Those top 10. One, yeah. two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. I like goodbye. it. Goodbye, Ukraine. Goodbye, Greenland. Goodbye, Mexico. What the hell is Greenland? I didn't even know it was a country. I thought like that was um, owned by another I, I country. I don't think it's its own country. It's, it's yeah, that's what I was thinking. Was it the Denmark that owns it? Like, there's no Greenlandian oh, really? language, is there? I speak Greenlandian. No, I don't think so. It is big, but it's bigger than Mexico, but I don't know if it's a country either. Yeah, but that's not the measure of independence, Rob. <laughs> You damn need your own language if you're going to be. Is is does Antarctica count as that's a country? That's why we speak English here in the United States. Well, that's right. They don't know how to speak it over in the UK because I don't understand half the things they say. I have to put closed captions on all the time. <coughs> yeah, they should get their act together. That's right. All right, so we we got our Antarctica list. doesn't count as a country, right? It's not, not a continent. Country. We got our list. No, no, nobody recognizes any claims in Antarctica. That's right. And by, by my rule, there's no Antarctean language, so therefore they're not a country. <laughs> Somebody should come up with one. One, two, three, four. There you five. go, Ron. I think we've got a solid eight there. All right. Maybe. Maybe, right. maybe, uh, maybe we'll hold maybe on nine. to our lead. Maybe. maybe. I don't we'll think we see. have 10, but we have eight uh, or nine. Eight or nine. All right. Good luck. Good luck. There we go. Now, can you can you see that now? Yep, and it looks like sound is going too. Yes.
vaccines do harm people. By the way, so I just found out something when I was on lunch. Oh, I thought I saw this. You're talking about Dr. Tenpenny's testimony about magnetic vaccine crystals. So this is what I found out. She so looks like a magnetic out. vaccine crystal. Explain to me why the key sticks to me. What? It sticks to my neck, too. Because you need a shower. (laughs) (laughs) Oh, my God. Yeah, it's sticking really well there. He's holding it. (laughs) I like... And then he got it like it worked. (laughs) Yeah, the QED face at the end is just... Fantastic. She's just ridiculed to pieces by her oh family. Oh my god! What wrong with you? You know, the really amusing thing is, even if that were true, that's not necessarily proven to be harmful. Yeah, good point. Yeah. It's a convenient way of storing your key. <laughs> well, how, like, how many people no, are no proving pockets. this? How many people are proving this with nickels? Yeah, <laughs> yeah. yeah. Well, that's the I'm other sorry. thing. Like, I didn't even see. It. A double blind test there to take out, uh, you know, something that actually is a magnet to see if the thing would stick to well, it and, and stick to her. Magnets are more fun thing I was in, curious Magneto about. Magneto and X-Men, so obviously. But, but it's okay because all the old med people say that they use magnet therapy anyway, so they should be That's, delighted. Yeah. Right. They should be happy with it. It's funny. You know what? I remember when Mick West came out with a video a week or so ago where he's putting, he's putting stuff on proving that he's not magnetic from the vaccine. I thought, what the hell? Nobody believes that. This is so yeah. stupid. Why are you putting out a video? I said, I can't believe we had to put a video on this. And now yeah. it's oh my ridiculous. God. My, my, question, my question to the nurse is, isn't she an anti-vaxxer? So did yes. she take the vaccine? Yeah, that, she that's weird, yeah. Vaccine if she doesn't want yeah. the vaccine. She probably is anti-vaccine. Made her take it she's, she's right. So science. she had to come up with some reason why she was Arm. hurt by the vaccine. Right. You've seen uh, the James Randi on Look, Korean think about television. it this way. At least she got the vaccine. That's the good <laughs> thing. At least well, she got it, it. So years ago, yeah. This American Life did a story about people who kept finding loose change in their shower. Do I remember that story? Remember you remember that, that one? And they, yes. it was because they would fall asleep in their jeans during oh. class, and then the change would stick to them, and then they'd go yes. take a shower. <laughs> I remember that. That was really interesting. Was that No, PR? they're magnetic. Or was that This American Life? Well, they got the COVID. That was This American Life. It was like a a one off. It's a time traveling vaccine. The time traveling vaccine. Yes, that's right. Jeez. Mm. I threw away my tool belt. I just stick all my tools to me and walk around. So, so, all right. So, I have a question. Everyone knows what the VARES thing is, right? The, uh, you know, the the people can people can put anything in there. So, are now there many reports about people having become magnetic? And then, and then they point to it as if it's proof. That's what the anti-vaxxers do, by the way. This is- Look at all the reports in the virus. That proves that the vaccines are dangerous. So anyone now can go in and say, I've become magnetic. And that's in the Well, that's the Fauci email. And say, I've turned into the Hulk. Oh, <laughs> but Brian, I mean, that's the Fauci so email. Won't they, won't they all demagnetize their computer, their, their, cars, cars, their, their cell phones? Their phones. Uh, they're all using solid state drives and flat panel LCDs. It's not a problem anymore. That's right. Yeah. And credit That's cards. Because they don't believe the technology. Credit cards don't. It's just aren't so affected by it anymore. It's not not stupid. as much. Stupid. Oh, okay. okay, are we ready for our answers? Let's no. do it. No, not yet. All right, right on time. Right on time. Okay, number one, and you guys did really good. Everybody, I was able to watch on. Ah, uh, Jamie wants to know who she can sue, or Caspian wants who because they didn't become magnetic. You can <laughs> sue anyone you want. You just won't win. <laughs> and you may have to pay court costs. Well, well, you might win. You know the whole thing about Roundup and all that kind of stuff. So yeah. Mm. Okay, so I will give you the link to the Wikipedia page after this. But the number one is Russia. Number two is Canada. Three is China. Or the United States, then it's Brazil, then it's Australia, India, Argentina. Hey, Argentina. Argentina. Really? Argentina? I took them out and he found of it. No, <laughs> no, no. Our South American. <laughs> the, the ninth one is Kazakhstan. 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 Yeah. 
And the last oh, one, oh, US of A. This black nut. Whoa, whoa, no, everyone stop talking. Like five. Five. Subsequent movie film. Can everyone stop talking so I can hear what she was saying? Everybody here? Oh. Number 10 is? Algeria. Right. Oh. And I remember, I, I think it was, who was it? Same, it was saying, go. One of the rooms was saying, was it Carl? Or was it Ryan? Who was somebody was saying, I, I wish I knew what the biggest uh, country yeah, in Africa was. Africa. Yeah, there you go. And it's Algeria. Go team. Very good. You guys did really good. Better than I would, that's for sure. Can, can you post them so I can score us? Yeah, sure. And then I'll give you the link. I predict a six, Kelly. Let's see. Two, sorry. <laughs> so I don't remember when I read this, if, you know, like, like United States included Alaska or if it was just the contiguous 48. States. No, it would have to include Alaska. But then that's again, it would have to. No, that's part of the United States. Yeah. Right, but if you looked at it that way, then would it, other countries include their other areas? It, it counts. No, I don't think so. No. It's a state, it's not a territory. Uh, I think, according yeah. to this list, the only thing that would even come close and combined would be Denmark and Greenland, and they still don't yeah. crack. I guess yeah, Greenland you just start, really you start getting into the area the of You start getting into the area of having to talk about things like uh, waters, like territorial waters, instead of talking about just land mass. Because if you talk about territorial waters, France is ginormous. Ginormous. Ooh. It's, it's absurd. Because they own a whole bunch of little islands all over the place. And because their territorial waters extend mm -hmm. a certain number of miles from the coastline, Isn't it they have a huge area. Including a little island on the coast of Canada. Mm -hmm. Two of them. <laughs> Richard, right. I have a 30 well, sided. Scores. I think you guys were pretty darn close. So let's see what we got. Oh, nice. Yeah, yeah, see Ben it, and yeah. I both have a D30. I've got a, I have a D60. Oh, wow. Oh, That's yeah. got to be. I want to see that. Hello, Hello puppy. To, getting close to spherical here. I don't know how it rests on one side. Richard, don't show your D60 because you can get fired and rehired from CNN if you do that. What? I don't get it. just dropped it. One sec. And, right. and my giant D20. <laughs> what does that have to do with CNN? <sighs> they They... Rehired the guy. It was a dick. Oh, thing. Jeffrey Tubin. Was, I heard yeah, it was that. A dick I heard it. Tubin. Oh, I get oh, wow. it. I'll show you. I heard his thing, and you know what? I Ooh, was like, cool. Damn, dude. That's awesome. I like it. He gave a and? really good apology, and, they ex and, and I, I thought, you know, <laughs> that's how you do it. That's how you take accountability. That's quite a D60. Yep. Yeah, it is. I thought the D30 was big. <laughs> I thought you guys were talking about Martin guitars with this D30 yeah. D. <laughs> no, okay. no, we're talking third culture. No, they yeah. take it D hundred. It's, it's all about size counting, right? <laughs> Something like for a that. actually, <laughs> dice should be about precision and accuracy. That's why I only use game science dice that are manufactured to not have the bias other dice have. Ah. Mm. the dice when, for Susan. When you round the edges, the manufacturing <laughs> process adds a bias. <laughs> All right, Carl, every got my guy right there. Every side, every side. There you go. That's the kind I like. Look at look at this. They're comparing dice. What is the biggest nerdest thing we could possibly be doing here today? Is showing off our dice. I've got Saturn five dice. I mean, my die is bigger than your die. Exactly. I know I just on a nebula, but I forget which one. <laughs> The crab I some dice upstairs made out of Andy. I want to say it was like the Christmas Nebula or something, but I don't remember. What do you got, Caspian? A satellite? What? Saturn Five dice. From Saturn Five. They're dice that are. They kind of look like a little Saturn Five rocket. Especially if you. No, no, the light. You you never see them. What the, what the well, you have to imagine what that would look like. I don't know if that. Oh, okay, there you go. Hey, Rich. You probably oh, see I there's a little rocket better. shape. Yes. Now stack them in your hand. But you should probably get people scores. Oh, I was yeah. waiting. That to might be a good Saturn idea. Glow in the dark alien dice. I'm gonna start. Oh, oh, I like that one. Oh yeah. I like that. That's really cool. 
he collects them, so he gets them from all over. Okay, so I'm gonna start yeah. from the top and work my way down yeah. to the bottom. Ooh, that one's pretty. Vegas. Random. Oh, look at oh, I see what Cass is. Oh got. yeah, I got the Oh cool. Oh, oh. Flat oh, edges, no pits. That's right. how they're balanced. Oh, south point. Okay. Why wouldn't anyone ever go to the south point? <laughs> Here, look. I have a thimble that I got in Wales. <laughs> wow, Susan, look at your thimble. I got it in Wales. Congratulations, it's the, Susan. It's got the Wales uh, flower. The Welsh flower, you mean? Welsh flower. I think Welsh yes. flower. The yellow daffodil. <laughs> Comes from Welsh Monopoly. <laughs> Daffodils are my favorite flower. If so. it's from Wales, does it have a blowball? Uh, Susan, anyway. uh, on behalf of those of us in Friday already, can you do I'm quick? trying. <laughs> You're too busy talking about your thimble. Okay, into the height of the woods. What is your score? Ten. Ten. Whoa. Whoa. Oh, okay, so they're in the lead. The anomalous. And thank you and enemy. good night. Stop the count. Stop the count. Stop the count. Stop the count. Also 10. <laughs> count the vote. Count okay, the now vote. they're in. Now they are in the lead. That's a nice one, Ben. Uh zombie grackles. He, he said it. He, she did. Not, not bad. Forest unit moving moon stuff. Hey. Zappa. <laughs> Frank Zappa stuff. <laughs> team Team Lathium. Nine. Nine. Damn. <laughs> <laughs> Let me do Susan's wicked laugh. <laughs> <laughs> I'm pitch that. Thank you very much. So it's not bad. The zombies didn't just oh, go no. 36, oh. 37, 39. Yeah. So Kevin, Bob, Jim, hey, Russell, team. Carl, Kyle, and Rob, you take the lead. For the it's first a, anniversary, it's a pretty close game. Whoa. Pretty close game. Pretty close. Nice. Yeah. It was you know, pretty close. Generally, much higher power scores power than we've been having for everybody. Whoa. That was that was a good game of trivia. Yeah. Yeah. Susan, yeah. thank you, Susan. Okay, so next week, um, it is going to be Peggy, Rob, Robin, Karen, and the bonus is Isabella. Do I have that wrong? Right. Sounds the following right. week, I have Gail, Carl, and Kevin. Next week, apparently. Okay, there you go. And I, I would like to control. I would like. Well, this is the first I've heard of it, but I'll I'll, I'll be ready by next week. Kevin, Karen, what'd you say? In the chat, I. Oh, Karen, you muted yourself. Muted yourself, you muted yourself right when you started talking. If someone, uh, if folks would like to add to what they wrote, get a chance to add their comments on the grid. The link to the Google Doc is there. Um, I did send you information by Facebook, but if we're not friends, it could be buried somewhere. I really enjoy reading that. So I'm going to try not to look at it for a while because I'd like to see, you know. And if people want to, uh, as a couple, um, some, some folks uh, responded as a couple, and that's great. Mm -hmm. Make sure that you include both the names in, first, in the first column. And if you're not into this thing, you can see that Susan's softy and she really likes this. So even if you just put a single word in each column, it would be great. Karen, Karen. Richard, Richard, I, Richard, I sent you a private email. Would you look at it? Can, can I propose a toast to Susan just before we all? Yeah. Yeah. You <laughs> drink and beg. Susan. Oh, here's to you. This was a great thing to do all year long, and you're the best. Oh, you guys are great. Yay. Love you, Susan. Hey. 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 You guys are great. You guys are hey. great. Hey. Love this you. Too. Trust me. All right, you guys have a great weekend. I'm going off. Deborah, <laughs> I, Deborah will be here at 12, right? Yep. We're out of here, so follow my pictures. It's been a wonderful yeah, I'll be sure to comment. comment. Somebody... Somebody just said they sent me a private something, but I didn't know who it was because I didn't know. It was Megan. It was Gail. 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 Where did you send it? I sent it to the, on, the, on the chat. Private Hi, Zoom everybody. chat just to you. Bye, Susan. Bye, Bye. 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 There's a recipe. There's so much you did at the podcast. Oh, uh, Gail, it's, it's cool. I've got that covered. Wash your hands. I've been there. Wear a mask. California's going to be done in a week. So a few days. Bye-bye. Bye, everybody. Bye.